late. I'm not late. I'm not late. I'm not late. What are you talking about? I'm not late. I'm like on the dot. Almost. Basically. Shut up. Shut up. You know, I meant to take a one hour nap and then I slept for like six hours. Talking poop pressing around doors. I'm actually on a hurricane right now, but it's not too bad there. Uh, hopefully I don't lose power during the stream. I hope you don't. I hope you don't. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, the weather's been... ...really bad in a lot of places... ...lately. The first hurricane in California since... ...19... 1930s. Hey, freaking hiccups! T90, I think I'm gonna be getting my free donor win before Hurricane Adelia hits! Uh... Voice scuffed, kinda. What do you mean? Did the pink stuff? What? Weather? Ah! The weather is going crazy. Where have you been? Asleep. It's the chemtrails. Seregno, Italy's streets looked like just one week ago. Yes, that is an icy river. Is this Flowing true? through a town and country that has been experiencing a record-breaking heat wave along with the rest of the world this summer. Over 100 people have been injured already by the hailstorm that reportedly was pelting down hailstones as big as 10 centimeters in diameter. If it's hot, why ice? Right? <laughs> if it's hot, why hail? Auxiliary character thing will probably get the peace. Postal nighting to the government controls what weather. True, Bahamut thing to the hurricane party. Down onto the streets of northern Italy. Coming on the heels of this event is another extreme weather event in China that is continuing to wreak havoc on citizens as Beijing records its heaviest rainfall in 140 years. I think this is what scares me like the most, right? Is a lot, a lot, a lot of this stuff, right? It's like you can just stay indoors and avoid it, right? And maybe you have to pay like roof damage and stuff, or maybe like. Your power goes out. I used to live. I used to live in the in the in the countryside where, when your power went out, they didn't come out to fix it for like days. So I'm not really I'm not really pers personally as afraid of like power going out anymore because I've kind of just become used to it. Um, speaking of which, if your power goes out before, if you think your power is gonna go out, just in general. Just in general, even if you don't think it's going to go out, uh, what you should do is you should freeze some milk jugs of water, and you should have some backup water just in general. Make sure you have lots of extra water, because you're like it's not it's not for drinking, chat. It's not for drinking. Although you should have water to drink as well, but it's for simple stuff, like pouring water in the back of your toilet to be able to flush it, and if you need to take like. A quick bath or whatever, yeah, fill your ba bathtub. Stuff like that. Also, make sure you have candles. Because... Those you're not gonna move around. <laughs> right, everyone's like, everyone's like, oh, flashlights. When the power goes out, I'll just use a flashlight. You don't know how convenient candle candles are until you can't find your flashlight. Because flashlights, you move, you move around and stuff, you know? Move around. Just in general. Make sure you have a ah hiccups. Make sure you have a way to stay warm. Tonight thing from noise. Maybe we can watch a video on on weather preparedness. Tonight thing from noise. Breaking news: People will most likely not be streaming Thursday. She'll be too too busy watching the news since her favorite weatherman is returning. Weatherman is returning. Our valley from noise. Good news: Weatherman mostly is going to stream again. Bad news: That's because the cost of healthcare requires it. Bad bad news: I'm in a hurricane. I'm sorry. Special sauce thing from noise. Hail forms and thunderstorm updrafts. Freezes over and over until it overcomes updraft by weight and falls. Some of them can be weird. You don't need candles when you are the Lord of the Flies. I guess early thing. Ah, two dollars. I get to work in Florida's finest weather tomorrow. Ain't anything for five dollars is the side effect of the Haldron, uh, oh, Hadron Collider, merging various timelines into our own. Like, ah, you do sell everything for five dollars. Um, lived in the Houston, Texas area. There. During a hurricane and like I slept through it. Yeah, it's a good time to catch up on sleep. Welcome Lang, thank you for the five dollars. I would recommend Chemlight Side Alarm Sticks. Can't burn your house down and the last twelve to twenty-four hours also works underwater. 
What? Got a gov? Then come big baby. Hick and hicka. Ah! This is not sustainable. David Hunt, thank you for two dollars. Are candles safe for rooms with birds if they're unscented? If it's unscented. You guys think this is. Abnormal weather. How is this strange, motherfucker? Those are clouds. Those are just. Those are just clouds. Aren't you building for two lords? Yes, chat, Jim's alive, and likely will stream again. You are sick, you're gonna be Had a healthcare scare that had me away for seven days. Oh, I didn't miss anything. Also, trying to scare your hiccups away or holding your breath works for me. Ah. I have the door. Say I'm not a fish and hiccups won't stop. I'm not a fish! No. Nope. Still hiccuping. Gone. The answer gone, Jack. And I've hired maids. <laughs> At least one scheduled visit, anyways. We'll go to the bar and come BBB. The house is pretty cleaned up. Not, not. I mean, like the maid, the maids haven't come yet. It's multiple. Yes. <laughs> I want them. To what do you mean it's okay? I want them to do like a deep clean, you know, like I want, I want, I want them to like. Cause I've had a fly, I've, I've had a fly problem. Ah! thing go baby. Fuck! I got a free soup. I go blow nose rabbit. Bring anything for Lori's made fun. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, rabbit thing or two dollars. Pippa hired catboy mates. If only I could get mates to wear cat ears. Jolene, come with me. It's really been a year. Happy birthday. I would pay extra for that. It looks to me like it's Is that dehumanizing? Putting up like a bit of a, a cloud on the bottom of it. Is that dehumanizing? Yeah. You know, they say if a tornado doesn't look like it's moving, that means it's moving towards you. Something in the one outbang stream. Another thing, more is hiring a. Maid is one of the best things I ever did for my mental health. It's a baby one. Just like, just like ever so often, you know, like maybe like once a month. The big sweet and come big. Hey, hey, good evening, Pippa. What are you drinking tonight? I've got some cream soda. I've got some Coca Cola. Uh, I'm at thing on two dollars. Are we gonna see your maids on maids on clean? Ah, clean stream. Then all thing on two dollars. Hurricane Hillary was overhyped. Saucy Roach, thank you for that. Five dollars spoonful of sugar plus vinegar. Also, 100% works this up. Pick up, she just rinse out of your mouth. Huh. Huh. Oh, hold up. Oh, Holy. Yeah. I'm not even worth that thing with one dollar. Amazing job, Pippa. Oh, thank you, thank you. Beautiful and utterly scary. My cross and thing with five dollars. Daddy Jim will be live streaming on the 31st. He beat the cancer age. I, I thought he didn't beat the cancer age. Hurricane time is board game time. Getting one right now. Hell yeah! Ah! Chat. You don't. You don't have to play board games with people. If you go to a board game shop or whatever, hobby shop, Barnes and Noble, wherever, there are there are, there are single player board games. This is the thing for those as a Midwesterner. Is that a thirsty, thirst, twit, twit? Oh, I can't fucking read. That's what they did in the knowledge of me like Arnold Schwarzenegger and knock up your bit. What? Okay. As a Midwesterner, is that a twisty boy moving towards you? No, ignore it and go gawk and damage when it's over. Oh, okay. Fingers and This guy is incredibly lucky. Why? 
Well, you'll understand soon. Ah. A tornado. Do you guys ever stand out in like lightning storms and stuff and hope you get zapped and isekai? Selena Nada, thing from Lois. Hey, Pippi, it's my birthday today. Made it to 30. Thanks to Kimo. Survived just long enough to hit the wall, I guess. Well, why do you say it like that? Happy birthday, Celine. Happy birthday, Celine. Happy birthday, dear Celine. Happy birthday to you. Ah, congratulations on 30! So rip through a busy Vietnam. Every time, bro. <laughs> and this is how it turned a usual. Exploding singularity thing for Lars. Every hiccup of me to graduate! No! The best friend Magni does that for you! What else was go to take your bloodline? Ow! Bomb ending with Lars. You can play our board games. Is that like a table for this one at a restaurant? What's wrong with you? Literally started a fire. Huh? Uh, what do you mean it started a fire? The reason was the electricity what? junctions malfunctioned. I don't see the fire. Injured, and the fire department pulled the fire down. Is that was that orange glow? Wait, I said those signs. Scoop singer Dolores sent me to Asgard. Thunder Coon. And left a trail of destruction. Heavy can't think of me. Heading to the mainlands of Belgium and Netherlands. Marksman Mark thing on the Gippy. We're not losing the bars. There's a hurricane coming right for me. There's also a road here called Pipkin Road. The road is more concerning. I decided to do. I check out China for the Chinese ghosties. We just saw. We just saw. Um. The intensive hailstorm smacked down. A flood in one Chinese city. I don't remember the name. Why did you do this thing or do I love your feeling club? Have a good birthday. It's not my birthday. I just lost Thank you for the. Oh man. I just lost Thank you for the. Tornado sirens go off. I pull out the lawn chair and start watching. <laughs> this is such bullshit, man. That'd be my fat thing. Come be honestly, the Netherlands deserved it. I don't know what they did, but still. This is such bullshit! You're a fucking windshield, man! The whole neighborhood. What a morphing I come to be when Oda woke up and chose violence. Anti annihilator thing for Lars. If I blame all bad weather on the government, I'm, I'm right eventually. They say to eight ARP. But fortunately, no one was hurt. A deadly storm flung a tree branch. Do you think some car hit this initially? And it was already weakened? Or do you think the storm is just like that powerful that it, it's able to knock down signs? Into a reporter. Oh. Look at him go! Oh. Oh. Why don't they film inside with a window behind them? I'm gonna blow your mind, chat. You know, reporters, you don't have to go into the weather. There's such thing as windows. You can stand in front of the window to film. The copper owl thing realized I hit a dust devil with my car in one! Drama? Not as dramatic! Well, it is gonna be pretty dramatic when you fucking die. Where'd Gal and Gumby be? Struggling to get back to a safe place. Attempting to transport Jeez. a drywall in the stormy wild wind is a recipe okay. for disaster. Oh! Basil Kai is for the noise. I have the storm that is approaching! Maybe you should just leave it for a second. No, if you put that down, it's flying off. It's for the content. Which is like no, YouTubers for real. That's the thing, Why don't you go stream in front of a window, Pilla? Because yo, yo, appear in front of the window and stand me! It's the scariest explosion. At least when you die, it's beautiful, right? You've got, like, confetti, which I assume is made up of, like, people's cars and shit, but it's, like, really pretty confetti. Confetti death? Luckily, everyone out there... I love that thing I've seen plenty of hurricane aftermath. Yes, wind can blow signs down. This massive storm cloud looks like Branding, a gigantic realize, no one tsunami a window could break and cut me? the city. The people ran What's standing out in the weather is not dangerous? giant cloud that looked like an alien invasion. You think during like ancient times and stuff, when weather phenomena like this happened, do you think they just killed themselves? 
Do you think they just assumed that it was the apocalypse? And there's like... Ancient civilizations that we just have no idea about because they just killed themselves when they saw this happening? Get rolling, Sanger Dolores. I want to headbang the Slayer during a hurricane. Holy Wish Doctor, thank you for becoming a big PP. What's up, home size? Did you robotic thing? Dolores Pippa Volcano Stream? Definitely, yeah. No, <laughs> they killed others. We're going for the 35 GTQs. Pippa Jim just popped up in well. FB. Stream on the 31st. I heard! Yes, you Away by the heavy oh! wind, but luckily, so that's the thing you're talking about. The in progress, killed by death shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That's gotta be so expensive to <laughs> Chad. <laughs> Chad, that's gotta be so expensive. I don't know how much the 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 cloth for a circus tent like this costs. It's gotta be like. It's gotta be like. Something exorbitant, right? It's gotta be like, like... I don't know. I don't know. How much? Like $20,000? $360,000! $100,000! Okay, I grossly underestimated. Marcus really is angry, Dolores. Usually they rush to make sacrifices or rioted. Also, anything about Dolores, Pippa, you or Tenma should play Cry of Fear for October. Six figures? No more clowning around! About 350000 Really? You guys are Googling it, I guess. It's a big tent. It is big. It is big. The jet pilot legit made a blind landing during this scary storm. Ah! Just look how dangerous it could be to fly a jet in the midst of a storm like that. Scientist cycling. Like tornado tornado I see you outside my window. Go to bed. Shut Can really be. Oh, no. I think it's a day to clean your house. The problem is I won't take too many used panties and socks. What the hell? The petrified whirlwind blew up things like ashes. What? Things like ashes. Ashes from what? Trapped in an upright car after an ah! accident. Thundering clouds and light. How? It's not attached to anything, chat! What the fuck is this? How? No, 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 no. Trapped How? How? A glitch! When I was getting reacted, I was like, imagine being a kid and you got dead clouds landing in your yard. Witchcraft? What is this? Oh, chat. Uh, unironically, somebody explained to me. Ryan, thank you, I'm from the Midwest. I wash my car in tornadoes. Todd does it again. Megan Samurai, thank you for the $10. Hi, Papa. Hello. In an upright car after an accident with thundering clouds and... It's not attached to anything! How? I don't understand. A really deep pothole or something? But the rest of the road looks nice. Only in the Nintendo I heard, had tornado sirens going off while watching your stream around a month ago, several miles away, Lightning so I ignored strikes. it. This mother with her two. N Explain! <laughs> Selena Nato, the Nintendo is still learning how to crochet. And the guy my mom left me so I can make the slippies. I'm staying strong, I'm a Pakistani, and we shit post through thick and thin. The Pakistanis never die. Ah! Ah! I hope, I hope you finish the slippies. Uh, right in the doors. I've seen this modern art piece. Just kick it, and then I'll fix it? This is a transformer? It got wedged. Wedged between what? That's the thing, Dolores. It's a physics glitch. Don't worry about it. You do Shelby think we're Dolores a scientific explanation because it basically boils down to the car was falling back to the ground and missed? I don't understand. See that thing we were at the five dollars? God left click and dragged the car with his mouse? Just so I think Vandor's weather stream is perfect timing. Work is canceled tomorrow due to the hurricane. Time for a hurricane party until the power inevitably goes out. Helen Jiggling, Vandor's look up dog stops a dust devil by f from forming. He's a good boy. Also, hi, Pippa. Hope you're having a good night. Thank you, thank you. With thundering clouds and oh, wait, is it, is it, chat, is it resting against a power pole? I can't tell if this is a shat. I don't, I don't think so, right? I think this is just like a shadow. Because this part is like green and stuff. The power lines? So Kawaii Senpai, I think I'm big baby hops and come big baby. You think it's hanging? Lightning strikes. This mother with her I'm two so confused. kids couldn't experience anything scarier than this. I'm Luckily, so confused. They were rescued on time. Somehow got tangled in it, and then it's oh, got of tangled. Snapping, the wire just kind of like slingshotted back. Witness this. Tangled in a fucking power line! 
fine. How does that happen? How does that fucking happen? Finally, he realized he forgot to talk about his car's extended warranty. How the fuck does that happen? I've never heard of that before. I've never heard of that at all before, chat. Daniel's here, I think, for the $2, by the way, Pippa. You meet your room back her keys, she needs them. What? Max Maxing, for those I remember being taught to leave your car and go in a ditch for a hurricane. I don't know if I've ever seen a video of someone doing that. I've never heard of leave your car and go in a ditch. I've heard of pull your car off into a field. Monster tsunami as a reminder of what nature can do. A very intense, scary storm tore off the roof of this house ah! in Poland. But thankfully, no one in the house was injured. Ah! But the house's roof did need to be reshingled. No shit! No shit! This thing is real. I've heard your house in Poland. Oh, a space program! This storm caused a lot of destruction. The only good thing oh. is that the people were safe. Oh! Holy shit! You think they caught any fish? Have you ever Nickel, seen think the light? Four dollars. Currently at the beach in Florida. Just raining dark, dark, scary clouds. Ah. Well, I pity him. The Lord Jim's spine is literally disintegrating, and his money with it. So he has to go back to dreaming and hat merchanting. And people afraid with dense clouds. At least he'll have something to laugh about. Winds. Vada Engi. My nose is just nibbling. Well, this storm is really blowing everyone away. Oh, have you ever walked outside and seen something like this, chat? It's the kind of Even thing where you're like, can't stand up straight. I don't know. It feels like a different world map got loaded in. The terrifying storm tossed objects around. It just doesn't. Like it just doesn't feel cautious. natural. You know what I mean? The world is mid load. The blizzard count. The fierce winds ignited yes. a dangerous blaze. Whoops! Looks like it lit up the electrical. Whoops! Fences. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, it didn't actually catch them on fire, though. Who needs horror movies when you can experience <laughs> scary Whoops! Flying objects in real life during extreme stormy weather. I like birds. A massive the bird prototypes, don't worry about it. The city. This was captured by a woman driving through its swirling path. That's so dangerous, no, no, man. No, no, no. This tree was struck by lightning thrice. That melted the chain link fence? Did it? Stop saying Fred Lord. Ah! Oh. Huh? Wait, what did it do? These German the passengers had no idea. This one is fucking terrifying. God hates that tree. <laughs> this one, this one. Oh god. Like imagine. Okay, just watch. Just watch. That a ride could end up like this. Later reports confirmed that no one Show was the video! during this terrifying crash. She knows. They know, oh, it already happened. Looks like they didn't show it, but the front window busts open. Oh, man, they went through, through, through. I walked outside in a hurricane force wind. It's surreal. I think the last whoopsie doopsie nature Mother made a nature fucking whoopsie. Mother Nature is taking her anger around on the parking lot again. One hell of a time. Oh my god. Oh my god, Big Chad. Sleeping in the for the My sister's wedding was interrupted by a tornado. Strike. After it, really it passed, they resumed the wedding. The of At the nearby bar, they took something. Oh! Ah! 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 Here's the oh, yeah, I set up car alarms. Strike that set a palm tree ablaze. A palm tree? Is this is California? You're so fucked. The was here, thing for doors. Why is the guy talking like he's a host? He's hosting America's Funniest Home Videos. Well, that's a flashback. A flashback. That's a, that's a throwback. Uprooted a tree. It made a crash and shattered Whoa. a once peaceful atmosphere into chaos. I feel like this is the scariest thing, right? Lop pal, think we're the ten dollars. Chad, is this real? I think so. 
It's so it's so scary with trees chat because like you look at trees and you're like like that's a tree, right? That's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. There's such a pain in the ass to remove. There's no way. There's no it's it's fine. And then just randomly one fucking storm will take it out. One storm will take out like a fucking 30 foot tree and you're just sitting there. Thanking God that it didn't land on your roof and kill you in your sleep. Holy How's this happened last ice cream? Ugh. Right, like Wouldn't if it? you were to remove that tree, it would cost so much money, it'd be so much work, that bitch wouldn't come out of the ground. Poor thing from doors, my daughter woke up when a tree came through the roof! I bet she did. ...and captured a massive inferno tornado, like it's auditioning for a new Twister movie. You had so much time to get out of the way, not if you're asleep! That's why you get it properly trimmed so the old branches don't get knocked down by wind. Lightning strikes a wind turbine, causing damage to the blades and burning. Jesus Christ. Wait, wasn't there somebody inside of this during this? Dawn killing was $100. Oh, uh, $100. It's so crazy that a piece of wood can pass through solid concrete. Isn't this the one where there was like a technician inside of it? Oh, that was a different one. Okay. DJ Robotnik, thank you for the... However much that was. Hold on, I'll bring it up. There was one where there was like a technician working on... In Colorado on one of the wind turbines. And he, he fucking died. Um, me and my mom used to watch storm stories on the Weather Channel late at night. It was strangely relaxing. relaxing. Storm stories. Due to a sandstorm. He jumped. Oh, there was two of them. Two of them and they died. That's sad. Who can forget the devastating and horrible tsunami that swept through the city and left destruction and Jesus. devastation in its wake in Japan? I'm working on repairs. One jumped and one burned. Jesus Christ. I think I'd rather jump. Chat! Just look. I don't know if it's incentive to make this pull or not. Toys. Amidst the but like, destruction, you're inside a burning wind turbine? Do you jump? Or do you, you just let it take you? With no injuries. So I'm saying, the north with sufficient velocity, anything can go through anything. Happy Mars and come big baby. In the northwest, the trees kill people all the time. Yep. On One of my coworkers got killed by a tree falling on his car while he was driving home. Oh, that's bad fucking luck. One of my, one of my neighbors died in one of the neighborhoods I used to live in. He lived in, he lived in like this little, little RV trailer thing. And a tree came down on it. And nobody checked on him. Right? Like it wasn't like a, a friendly neighborhood or anything. So there was just this RV with a tree collapse on it. And I remember like, taking the school bus. And going by it and stuff. And the guy was dead in there. The guy was dead. A devastating tornado unleashes lightning fury upon a city. Jesus! Are those cars on the road over there? The streets of Sydney are being battered by intense hail. Robert Norwood and Ken Lord, have you ever witnessed exploding trees after an arctic storm coated the everything within of Sydney, inches Australia. of ice? No, I'm not. A car drove through the icy flooded road with hilarious. resilience in Bulgaria. Oh. Nate, hey, hey, Toad, thank you for the doors. Hey, Toad, it's kind of new here and have really enjoyed your content. Here's some buckaroos and here's a little candy bar or something. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Extremely yeah. tremendous but mesmerizing ah! monster waves have been seen in Spain. Ah! Hell no! Uh, I don't even see that over the North Carolina thought it could go incognito during the water storm, but it forgot to turn. It's a houseboat. <laughs> a tree fell and totaled my car while I was in it. Walked away and was annoyed since I predicted the tree would do that. Why were you in? Why were you in the car when it happened? Off the camera. It's a houseboat. It blows my mind. Have you guys seen like beach houses and stuff? In, um, in areas that get, like, hurricanes and stuff. Like, up and down now, Max! <laughs> um, 
They act, they, they, they build their houses on stilts. It's crazy. Next thing is the 420 last Thursday, seven tornadoes hit my state. One of them a couple blocks from my apartment for... Oh, tore a tree out of my dad's backyard. Oh. The scariest hurricane in Alabama wrecked havoc, causing widespread destruction and leaving people with phobias. Oh. I don't. I would not want to be out on the dock during this storm. Grab a thing from July. How slow away? You are a pirate. Summer storm hits Queensland. Is it building a house on a beach just bad in general? I would think so. Program our coding thing, come beep, 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 beep. That's all I got. Argent Warlock thing, Dolores. It's about to be a house submarine in a minute. There was one city that I lived in where I didn't live directly in the city, but I had to go to this city out of out of comedians, basically, because it was the only town that had like stores. I didn't even have a fucking Walmart, man. I you? town being like so big in my brain chat like i look back at this town and i'm like wow that was like that was like a big town I didn't even have a fucking walmart i looked at the population chat the population for this city is under ten thousand. <laughs> but i remember it being so big but anyways anyways it was a beach town it was a beach town and um <laughs> um the way they the way they have it laid out like, I feel like I could I feel like I could get a house there and feel safe because like it's got like this massive hill man you know how like you know how like there's the there's like the photos of like San Francisco how they've got the streets on the hills right it's like the the sharp inclines and the sharp down 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 there whatever uh grin Jen Rollins angle for doors I would jump over the heart attack would kill me before I hit the ground to subscribe to you and care so recently after watching clips thank you but it's like, it's like you could be on top of like a giant ass hill, you know? You'd just be on top of a giant ass hill. And then if there's like a, if there's like a tsunami or whatever, it fucks up all the people at the bottom of the hill and you don't have to worry about it. Drizzling, of a baby, a tornado picked up two trucks full of flour and eggs and is now battering the city. I live in a town with a population less than 30. There was one town that I lived in that didn't even have like a population census. The scariest of scary storms blinds the vision, tore off the trees, We had a post office and the, the saloon, place. and one kind of grocery store. Phobia, phobia, then come pick me. Hi. And you used to have to, yeah, you used to have to drive down to the to the neighboring town to get to the gas station, which had a Taco Bell attached to it, and the Taco Bell slash gas station was also like a grocery store. Wait, is it raining stone? Well, a horrible stone... A general store? No, we only had like that grocery store thing. Storm evoked due to a volcanic eruption. Is this real? Is this real? <laughs> Arceling your toys, building the world with Pippa's peak. Is this real? A terrifying what water spout. This is a stalker anomaly. Know, a water spout is the oh, same God. thing as a tornado, but with water. Just a twirling mix of water it's a and wind. Tornado! <laughs> Look at that boat. There was this bridge that was supposed to be tsunami proof. It was built yeah. to withstand the biggest waves Remember, Mother no, I think, Nature could I think those are bushes, not stones. I, th I think so. I think so. I think those are like dry bushes. Well, that's gone. A gigantic, appalling wall of sand moving towards the Yellow. city like ghosts are covering the whole scene. Like ghosts? What do you mean, like ghosts? <laughs> Hell no! An intense what was that? Storm. Is this a fire? I'm guessing. I'm guessing there's a fire nearby, and this is ash. Probably give me a hailstorm <laughs> caused intensive damage to a car and mercilessly wrecked the whole windshield. 
That's so fucked up. I'm bad to say when Lars do talks like PBS Kids Show narrator. Witness the to be fair. Oh my god. Okay, to be fair, it costs the same amount to fix one crack in your windshield as it takes to fix fucking 50, alright? Like, either way, either way, it's the same amount of money. All inspiring power display of At least you nature, get a cool show. Mercilessly turning the people's quality time into dramatic movie scenes. <laughs> A wait, wait, so during a situation- During a situation like this, wouldn't you want to be, like, inside a tent? Wouldn't you want to be, like, inside a tent? Or would you want to be on, like, the back side of it, facing against where this comes from? Because on one hand... During an avalanche, yeah. Because on one hand... The tent might collapse on you. But at the same time, you have supports, like, holding the tent up, right? So you're less likely to just get raw buried, right? But on the other hand, if you stand on the back side of it... I don't- I don't know, like... Would the avalanche- I mean, especially because they're rounded and stuff, would they still- would they still... I feel like it would still just like pour on top of it and still get you, right? Like, what would your what would your best bet be? That wouldn't hold much. So then, what's the what's the best bet? What's your best bet in this situation? Run? You're not outrunning this avalanche, Chat. There's no fucking way you're run. You're not outrunning the fucking avalanche. Find the big rock. I feel like that's probably your best bet. I'm gonna start a thing, Richard Laura. I saw a video of a tornado on top of a mountain. Jump over it. Is that an actual tactic? Anyways, 81% of people said they would rather jump off of a burning wind turbine. A terrifying lightning strike spotted at the sports utility vehicle. Gratefully, the passengers were safe. Get on your snowmobile? You're not starting it and getting out of there before it fucking gets you. I did not let anything to Lars. You aren't outrunning the avalanche and just finishing how much snow buries you? Hmm. But you have like no... Like a shelter or anything. Like it just feels like... Like on one hand, the te You know what? We're gonna have to like look this up. We're gonna have to look this up, Jack. Cause now I'm really curious. Now I'm really, really curious, because it's like, on one hand... You have like, a, like, yes, snow is heavy and stuff, but you have like a bit more of a, of a, of a shelter, you know? That would make you easier to find. That's another thing, the tent is gonna make you easier to find, because it's gonna stay in that same place, most likely. Maybe it'll move like a little bit? Um... What to do during... Avalanche. How to survive a potentially deadly avalanche episode 7. What the hell? What the hell? There's a bunch of these videos. I'll put one of those on in a bit. Topple tourists on an Icelandic beach. Looks like they're playing the life game with the waves. This is how so many fucking tourists die, chat. So, so many, so many tourists. Uh, thank you, praise him in the Japanese name, I can't read for the $5 in Australia. There's a phenomenon where millions of spiders are lifted up by the wind. Lifted up and carried by winds and then dropped down, causing literal spider rain. Oh, hell no. Idiots. A terrible hailstorm yeah, a car's windshield as a reward for sneaking out during a storm. Oh. Oh, oh my god, look at the glass coming down on his, uh, dash. Vengeance for Zen, then when Thorn Lord is off topic, people you so you recommend more Calliope to someone on Twitter. Watch her play Armored Core. I really enjoyed it. You have good taste. Here's a finder's fee. <gasps> thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nothing will stop yeah. the rain of the Sith. Here is the most unique upward lightning ah. strike, which is terribly awesome. This crazy storm no, made I'm people realize why staying at home is a good option. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, it's Medicare. 
Filling the stars, they didn't lose! They didn't lose! Since, have you ever seen a flying umbrella? Well, this hilarious yep. moment's credit goes to Crazy Storm Wind. It doesn't even have to be a crazy storm for this shit to happen. They're pulling in a mission, I think. Do I look up fire tornadoes? Wins. Umbrellas are so scary, chat. Can you imagine this thing fucking flying at you and you getting stabbed the in the chest and dying? The ferocity Ida is a tale well known to everybody. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm not- I'm not going down during flooding like this, alright? Like, if it's- if it's- if I see water going down steps like this, I'm not going down in the, a subway or down any fucking stairs or whatever. Why would you do that? Yeah, let's go- let's go to the subway in a flood. Yeah, great idea. Check this out. It's WWE it's like between a crew a water and park. a snowstorm. Oh my god. You haven't what showered? The fuck? Oh, no worries. Here, these ah! monster waves are coming to clean you up. Ah! Oh my god, they're waiting for it. Oh, they got knocked the fuck down. Hello. Of people's transformation. Hello, people. Oh, well, let's enjoy this stupendous transformation. Tornado to fire nado, then water spout. Why? Yeah, that's the avatar. Eric Jim is here. The Lord's talking about weather. The weather man is coming. Uh, the that's the avatar. The water spout from the fire. See the scary waves showering Captain love and water Planet. on their visitors. Whoa, that's cool. That's so cool! Quick Did... actions pay off! Oh my the god! The rescue team saved a man from the clutches of a fierce flash flood. Oh my Luckily, god! everyone went safe later. See, this is what you do. This is what you do, chat. When you- when you go out during, like, flood warnings and stuff, when you go out during extreme weather, and you're like, Oh, well, I just want to get home. You know, I just have to, I just, I just have to get home or I just need to go pick something up. This is what you do. You endanger everybody else. Where are you waiting for the Lord? Uh, I was in a blizzard on top of a mountain in New Mexico in July on a backpacking trip. Only time my glasses have iced over. Our sacrifice itself for him. There's a quick ride. I can cross that flooded road. Yeah. Ice tsunami phenomenon hits Russia causing massive blocks of ice to surge onto land. Holy shit. Nobody thinks for dark. Tell me, what's your greatest fear? The tide which hits like a powerful tsunami. That's a hard question to ask. Or not, well, that's a hard question to answer when you're afraid of like everything. Tommy. <laughs> I have many. I'm a very paranoid person. The Jiantong River in East China is famous for producing the world's largest tidal bore. This incredible I think, clip shows I think, the power. I think maybe my biggest fear is drowning. I think I think it's drowning. Cause like when I was younger, when I was younger, my aunt and her friend tried to drown me in the pool. And that shit. That shit just hits different, you know? That shit just hits different. Out of nature when it's angry. The landslide brought houses and cars. I'm not afraid to like go in the pool or anything. Pieces of paper. Just a prank. I told this story quite a few times, but they they told they told Grandma Ken. They were like, oh no, we were just trying to help her. <laughs> Fuck off. Did that explain? Okay. I was a youngin, and I was swimming in the pool with my aunt and her friend. And Grandma Kin went inside for something. I don't remember what. Um, and while she was gone, my aunt and her friend approached me, and they started pushing me down by my shoulders into the water. Like I was already, I was already swimming, and they're like, they're like pushing me down by my shoulders, and then. Grandma Kin comes out and starts yelling at them. And then they... 
they're like, oh no, she was, she, she was struggling. We were trying to help her. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, I knew how to swim. All right. Like, I knew, I, I know how to swim. I'm not good at swimming. But I've never, on my own, had an incident where, like, I couldn't swim or whatever, you know? I've never, I've never, I've never, like, almost drowned on my own. Or I've never, like, panicked in the water or whatever, you know? Everything, you are your greatest fear is a bath. No! But, Grandma King got really mad at them. I don't, I don't, I don't think she believed them. This is just... I don't think they were trying to, like, kill me. I think they were just trying to scare me. But... That ain't, that ain't fucking psycho. She, um, she used to take my stuffed animals. And she would, like... <laughs> she would, like, tie rope around their necks and hang them from the door and stuff. And so, like, I would, I would go into the, into the guest room where I stayed. And I'd find my stuffed animals hanging. And then she'd put, like, tape over their mouth, and she'd use, like, Sharpie... ...to draw X's. She's crazy. She was crazy. I... I do not like her. <laughs> I... I feel like that probably doesn't need to be said, but I... I don't like her. I still hold that grudge, because I feel like you have to be, like, a really weird individual. You have to be a really weird individual to do... to do shit like that. And now... now... Well, I don't know what she's up to nowadays, but... Last time... Last time I visited her, she was living in a shithole, breeding fighting dogs. So, I'm back to Asylum, Mia. Yeah. Ready to swallow anything or everything at any given moment. How are you, the normal one? I don't know. I would not be standing here. <laughs> I I would not be standing here. Good. Nah. While attempting to secure the large umbrella in a yeah, small no great idea. Wind, this man went Oh yeah, she also used to beat the shit out of me. I remember she would beat the shit out of me and she would be like I remember grandma kid would yell at her and she'd be like, No, we were just play fighting. Or I'd be like, Oh, well she 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 started it. It's like You're twice my size. <laughs> You're twice my size, and you're beating the shit out of me. What do you mean we're play fighting? I have wounds. What do you mean? A spiritual journey. Don't worry. He ended up being fine. Upon an approaching storm, how old was she? Inside a store, and look how violent that thing was. We knew math on this. Sorry for anything Hold on. or anyone that was outside in that storm. I go back the doors. Keep hating her, Pippa. He's the worst. Struck by a falling tree during a storm. Thankfully, um, they emerged unscathed. So she was probably. A severe dust storm caused a lot of havoc in Texas. It tore She's like 2.8 times my age. Paper. Who needs horror movies when you can experience scary wobbling and surfing objects in real life during extreme stormy weather? What that was? Nats. The point is very specific. I, I, I don't know how to like... Because I'm 3.33, so I guess I could like subtract based on that. But then I'd have to figure out how like old she would have been at that point. I, I She's seven now. Right, I think it was a $2, but she's not trying to kill me. Her aunt. <laughs> Quick math. Uh, she's like... Okay, we'll say, when I was like three, she was like... She was probably like 10 or 11. Alright. Why did I- why did I hide this? Oh god, which one of these was the- oh fuck. Is this one. Okay. Hello there, and welcome Hello to there. Unbelievable. I'm not saying- did she beat you up when you were three? No, I'm saying that I'm 3.33 now. That make sense? Very strong winds and rain. Yeah, she was like ten years older than me. In Turkey. 
I'm going here where I miss. Not much. Didn't realize anything. Front doors, a hurricane remnant went through my seat back in 2014. Their seat was damaged on both ends, but it was stranded thus. The hurricane barbecue was fun though. Footage Oof. of a very intense Wait, hurricane barbecue. recorded in Poland. How's the doors anyway? The doors. She seems almost like Kirsten's mom. Oh, these are duplicates. Hold on. Hold on. I think so my sister duct taped me to our wall. Even the Man, my sister was so... Well, I have multiple sisters, but... One of my sisters! She was like... Oh my god, I'm everything the so you got bullied by a nine-year-old. No! Um, one of my sisters. She would like gang up on me with her boyfriend. She'd like, she'd like lock me and we had like these big dog crates, right? Because we had large hunting dogs. And she would lock me in the dog crate and then she would like, she would like hold it like vertical and her and her boyfriend would like throw pennies and shit at me. And she would like lock me outside in fucking freezing temperatures and shit. She's, she's a bitch, man. She's a bitch. And now when bad stuff happens to her, I don't even care. <laughs> I, I I I feel I feel like that sounded like kind of like cringe, but like <laughs> like she put me through so much shit that now when like <laughs> that now when now when like bad stuff happens to her, I just I just don't even want to help her, man. I just don't care. I don't care. Like she's family and stuff, and it's like oh man, I could help you. But I'm not going to, because of shit you did to me, like, 20 years ago. <laughs> right, I think you're Dolores. Did you get to keep the pennies? I don't remember. Woman Merkel Hopper, thank you for the five dollars. Was this the sister who recycled mouthwash? Yes. Or the one who chased homeless people? Yes. Or maybe the one who sold sex toys? Yes, actually, all three. That is, that is that one. Uh, Chloe Silving, thank you for Dolores. Pippa, your aunt isn't a weird person. She's a legitimate psychopath. Zacho Mason, thank you for Dolores. Stop simping. Death to the Zimpa. Quick painting, Dolores. Those super like pennies. Uh, Nana McDoodle, thank you for Dolores. I wonder why Pippa has trust issues. Most heavenly places on Earth can survive a giant storm without major damage. Uh, Today, we're gonna show you the scary storm moments there. ever The track life wanna be, yeah! It'll make you hesitate before going out in the rain. What is that? And so oh, the person! And prepare to witness I can fix your sister. No, you cannot. Features. Did you believe that old wives tale that lightning never single? strikes no. the same spot twice? Well, this video and will If she is, she's gonna turn you into a baby daddy. She gets brutally struck six times in a row. Oh I damn. Earn there. Thank you, Dolores. Did she apologize? I hope you can heal one day, bunny. No. No, I've learned that in life. Most people do not apologize for literally anything. I've learned that the most you're gonna get out of people, 99% of the time, is them hopefully just not trying to gaslight you about it. Take a picture, they can go, they can really good pee pee. I feel like internet culture is so different from real life culture, right? Because on the internet, it's like, People, people are quick to apologize for things, and people, people like own up to their mistakes, and people, um, there's like this culture around it, right, where it's like, oh, you need to own up and stuff. But in real life, it's like, even if you have receipts for things, right, even if you have evidence of things, it's just, it's just, the, the most you're gonna get out of people is like, well, I'm sorry you felt that way about it, but like, that's just how you interpreted it. Oh, Michael Hopper, thank you, I wonder how bad your other sisters are. Uh, not as bad as her. Tycho and Raccoon, thank you for the Casually dropping childhood trauma, gotta respect it. Pussy was, thank you Coming from mentally ill family, I feel this. Some are homeless and others are just getting by. The isolation strengthens our paranoia. The poor love. Where can I find this internet? Oh, you babies just like content creators and stuff. Then turn thing with 1337. Well, thank goodness people don't treat like that anymore. Those super have a. Those super at Pippa while she's trapped in my screen. Senator Hamilton, thank you for Now it all makes sense. How are you the how you are the way you are? Also, you have to be the bigger person. I hate that man. I hate that shit. When you're talking to somebody about the bad shit that they did to you, and are are you I guess it doesn't really happen with them. When you're when you're talking to somebody else, right? When okay. Okay. When you're talking to somebody in your family 
about how another family member treats you. And they're like, well, you just have to be the bigger person about it. And it's like, no, no, I don't have to be the bigger person. I'm, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, I just, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, the, it's like the, the, the goal is to like, trap you with Stockholm Syndrome or something, man. It's like, fuck you. Why? What do you mean I should be the bigger person? How about instead of I should be the bigger person, other people shouldn't treat me like shit. And the same thing applies to them. I don't treat them like shit. They don't treat me like shit. Easy, easy trade, right? Easy trade. What do you mean I should be the bigger person about it? Look at the language here. 200 pennies I'm throwing at you. I hate that shit so much. It's like, oh, but they're family. Yeah, they're fucking awful to me. So I don't consider them family. You consider them family. And honestly, that hurts. That hurts because it's like you don't recognize... Like, the pain that they cause me. And you're making it like, like, I don't, I don't want you to be like, oh, well, like, I'm like, I'm like completely on your side, the echo chamber, whatever yeah. the fuck, right? But like, you can at least acknowledge when shit happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hop saying we're 10 dollars. Get the bigger bunny and fuck him up. My little city, thank you for 10 dollars. I feel you on having issues with family. I recently had a falling out with my grandparents because of how they were treating me and other family members. On the upside, my holidays are free now. Oh. Jesus. Normalized, never-ending hatred. It's just like... I don't know, man. You find out where you stand real fast in the family pecking order. You do, Rayday. Right? You really do. And it's like... You're expected to just put up with it, right? And it's like... I don't want there to be a pecking order. Why can't we just treat each other... As like, people? Why is it... Why is it that... Because you're younger, or because you're the family fuck-up, or whatever... That it's like... You're free game. You're free game for everybody. Why can't, why can't, why can't I be like, this makes me uncomfortable, please stop doing this. Right? Why does that make me the bad guy? Why am I the bad guy when I stand up for myself? For wanting to be treated as an equal at the table? Look, Ben, thank you, Dolores. Here's 199 pennies for trauma, you have it. Tribalism, I don't know. The hangout phase is in front of I survived a category for... Category 5 hurricane, 3 months, no power at Puerto Rico in 2017. Funny now, when city Wisconsinites crap themselves to severe storm winds. Listen, thank you, Dolores. Hatred is God Emperor's gift to humanity. Youngest pain. Yeah, youngest pain. Youngest pain. I'm the youngest of my siblings. <laughs> it's all... Humans treat each other like trash. And some don't let blood change that. Uh, since then, thank you, Dolores. Pippa's strong. Uh, massive doors, thank you, Dolores. Diesel, but... But family. The role, thank you, Family is what you make of it. Exangelus, thank you, Ten Dollars. Your enemy is never a villain in his own eyes. Keep this in mind and may offer a way to make him your friend. If not, you can kill him without hate and quickly. Eh. I know people from their own perspective. They're not being a villain, right? But I feel like sometimes, like, especially with family, right? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, if you, if you can't relate to this, I'm happy for you. But I feel like with my own family, it's like... People are so... Just caught up in like, the status quo. If that makes sense. And... I want to say like, their own lives... Were... To the point where it feels like... Instead of having like a regular human act in interaction, it's like they'll purposely like make jabs at you and shit in order to boost themselves up. And like everything's like a dick measuring contest. Like, oh, this is what I did, or oh, this is uh where we're going, or oh, w whatever. You know, it's like it's like. Private school link big PP. And and everyone does it to each other, right? And then nobody notices until it like hits hits a nerve with themselves. If that makes sense, right? Like like everybody will throw everybody else under the bus in order to, to establish like a click, right? 
And then nobody has an issue with that until it happens to them. Like, I remember, I remember... One of my uncles used to, used to like, make constant fucking jabs at me, man. Used to, used to make constant jabs at me. And nobody, like, even when I stood up for myself, I, like, I tried, I tried being like, okay, well, you know, like, these things make me uncomfortable, blah, 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 right? Trying to, I, I had this small brain idea that, okay, there were these classes in school, right? There were these classes in school, um, um, fuck, I can't remember the name. I had this class in school, but it was all about teaching you, like, good communication skills, like, de-escalation and shit like that, right? And so I tried applying these things where like, oh, instead of saying you did this and that's fucked up or whatever, it's stuff like, it's stuff like, oh, well, when you did this, it made me feel like this and I feel like we can come to a compromise here. Um... Emotional intelligence... It was like in the emotional intelligence classes and shit. Conflict resolution, shit like that. That shit doesn't work. It does not work! It doesn't work! It works in like a formal environment, right? When you're trying to be like really professional with people. But when you try it on like other people, it's like... Like, 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 like family members? It's just, well, why are you making an issue of it? Well, just be the bigger person. Just grow a thicker skin. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, like, I would, I would try and use these skills, right? I would try and be like, you know, when you do that, it makes me feel uncomfortable and I would appreciate if we could talk about something else, right? And then it's like, I'm the weird one. I'm the weird one. The person. Who's, who's, who's making jabs, being a fucking asshole, whatever. They're not the weird one. That, it's just, it's just, it's just pants, man. It's just whatever. Like, it's, why are you making it weird? Jesus Christ, man. I feel like, I feel like you guys know, I don't mind banter. I like banter. Banter is like a mutual exchange. It's a back and forth. It's not, I'm going to try and drag you down. In front of everybody to try and like humiliate you and shit, right? This is like God. But we do that shit. We do that shit all the time. Remember, says anger for the Lord. De escalation can only work if you have the means to escalate. That's true. That's true, man. You can tell when someone's shit talking. You can tell when somebody's shit talking. Yeah, Benther is fun, not hurtful. Yeah, it can like err on the side of hurtful, right? Like, I think, like, 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 banter, banter can get rough, right? That's fine. Because it's still just banter. It's still not, like, like, you can go to, like, dark places or whatever with banter. But when it gets into personal attacks and shit, it's not, it's not banter. When the point is to drag other people down, to boot your, to, to boost yourself up, to, or, to, to establish, like, a higher place in the family pecking order or whatever, it's not, it's not fucking banter, man. You're just being an asshole. You're just being an asshole. It's just, I just, I don't. Intent is what matters. I think so. I think so. Hip a lag, lagging. I just. I don't know. But, anyways, anyways. He used to be such a dick. He used to be such a dick. Would say, like, the most hurtful shit. Just out of the blue. Would imply, like, that I'd be, like, a school shooter and shit. It was fucking, like, just mean shit. All right? And then, I remember one year, nobody visited anybody. And they wrote a, um, like one Christmas, nobody, nobody went to go visit anybody. And so they sent like a, they sent like a, like a Christmas card or whatever. And they were like, I don't, I don't remember exactly how they worded it, but it was basically something about not wanting to stay with the rednecks or whatever. You know, like they didn't want to come over to our house. Because it was dirty or whatever the fuck, you know? And suddenly that's when people are upset! That's... that's when it's too far? Not when... not when this motherfucker is mercilessly picking on me and I'm asking him to politely stop? But only when we get called the redneck 
family? That's what it's an issue? Okay. Okay. It's like, it's like, man. Like, you can, you, it's just like these little moments, you know, where it's like, you can really tell when you are at the bottom of the fucking totem pole, you know? You can just tell, it's like that moment that clicks when you're like, oh, it's okay for other people to treat you like this. But they don't allow each other to treat each other like this. And they expect you to just like, stick around and shit. Fuck no. Fuck no. Their uncle and stuff, they invited me, they invited me to go to like, Disneyland with them. I was like, fuck no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright? This isn't like an all expenses paid trip or whatever, alright? If you're like, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna pay all my shit, you know, okay, sure. Okay, pay for all my shit. I'll put up with you. But I'm not gonna pay to go on vacation. And deal with you motherfuckers. Thank you, thank you, BB. Haven't been able to watch stream because of my work in forever. And banter between bros and the same as shit talking slash tearing down. But Pakistan's strong. Who is telling me? Let's Google the narcissist prayer. I think it applies here. I feel like I've heard of that. You're remaining with hundred dollars! Can relate? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Um... Narcissus... Hold on. I can't spell. Narcissus prayer. Um... That didn't happen, and if it did, it wasn't that bad. And if it was, that's not a big deal. And if it is, then it's not my fault. And if it was, I didn't mean it. And if I did, you deserved it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Now apply that to literally every conversation ever. Hello, they heard the $10. And then when you, when you finally get tired of it all, and you fight back to any capacity, then it's game fucking over. Then it's game fucking over. All hell breaks loose. Hello, Linger with the 75 NTs. Filled six times and finally let me stand. Now I have to wait 45 days my money to come back. What? Are you okay? Are you okay? Then it's over. They won. It's just... It never really happened to me except for uh, one uncle which my mom warned me about. And I had my clapbacks ready but it never happened. Oh. Then they get butthurt. But then it's like they're breaking your shit, or they're like stomping around the house, or they're fucking... It, 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 it's, just, it's, just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. You learn, chat! You learn... ...to just roll over and die. Smith of 11 herbs and spices in for those people is at the top of our totem pole. Pippa love. Girl boy, I think I'm be pee. Hooray for gift subs. Pippa love. It's just, they wonder why I'm chronically online. I used to get that so much, man. I used to get that so much. It's like, why don't you come down and hang out with the family? Because I fucking hate you people. Because you treat me like shit. And because you're not, like, taking a fucking mallet to my head or whatever, apparently I'm not allowed to feel bad about it. You know? I'm not, I'm not allowed to feel bad and dislike you people. For constantly fucking ragging on me, making fun of me, making fun of my interests, joking about killing my animals, being just general douchebags about everything, unless it's something that you think is going to benefit you in the future. Like, oh, it's cool when Pippa's interested in the computer, when it means she might get a job in Silicon Valley and make buko fucking bucks, then she's worth something. But when she's playing them damn video games... Whoa! Her mother is a failure for allowing her to do that. Oh my god. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Come down and spend time with the family! Everything, everything you love is stupid. You are a worthless individual. Blah 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 blah. Come spend time with us. I don't know why you don't want to spend time with us. All we're going to do is sit on the couch and watch fucking football. Why don't you come sit with us? Why don't you come talk with us? I'm sorry, I don't want to drink beer or overpriced wine and watch fucking football. You know what? Thank you. I will stay in the guest room playing on my fucking Game Boy. Thank you. Fiends are lizard ding dollars. Until I was 20, my family tried to make me sit with the children and treated me like a child. Oh my god. The, f the worst fucking years, man. The worst fucking years. It's like, until, until you agree to be like a fucking alcoholic, it feels like you're a kid, right? It feels like... When you're sitting at the table, 
if you don't agree to drink, I don't know how common of an experience this is, man. But like, I remember, I remember, it's like, I don't know, it feels like if you don't like adopt, like, all of their habits and all of their interests, you're gonna get sick with the kids. It's so just weird. It's so weird. And even like with my parents, they'd be like, like, I remember like as a teenager, like them constantly like, bickering about like whether or not I'm technically an adult and it's like man I'm still in middle school what do you mean uh, after I turned 18 I started eating alone and after 21 I stopped going all together I mean new thing is I know how you feel Pippa believe me I'm sorry man I'm sorry this rant needs to be clipped because it is hard the, when the problem asks you what's the problem when the problem okay when somebody asks you what the problem is and you tell them as gently as possible, and you give them like an out, so to speak, right? Where it's like, oh, you know, this kind of made me feel uncomfortable, but I understand, you know, like it's just bad, so whatever. It's like, like, but uh, I would appreciate like going forward if you didn't say things like that again. And they still get fucking mad at you, and they still act like they're the fucking victim in the situation. And it's like I gave you the out, dude. I didn't have to be this nice. I didn't have to try and like, oh, my goodness, dang. Uh, Mr. Anime A of V-Maker thing with I can relate to the family issues, but mine don't even pretend to care about me. Hell, my brother shot me last year? What do you mean your brother shot you? What the fuck? That's some dozing, Dolores. I'm mama kin, dad kin, at least aware of these D-bags. They are, but they're family. So, uh, YouTube sucks lately. YouTube has sucked lately. YouTube has sucked. Been drinking with the family for years and they still treat me like a kid? Maybe, maybe I'm just assuming then. Maybe I'm assuming that if I, if I drank more or whatever, I'd be included in the group more. I don't know. I guess I guess I'm gonna be, be nice while we're having, huh? Yeah. This is just... Uh... Did you shoot him back? Yeah, did you shoot him back? Are you alive? As soon as I start making... Bag and living in Silicon Valley and have lots of friends and lots of... Oh, and love everyone. Now all of a sudden you guys care about me. I'm literally in me pain mentally right now. Cottontail, do you understand? And I don't think I'm 121. Do you get shivers when people refer to Face Connect as a family? Um... Not really. I'm building my doors. In my 20s, I'm still told to sit at the kids' table for every family gathering. Jesus Christ. It's like a... It's like a... It's like... It's a... It's a blatant fucking othering technique, man. It's like the old guard versus like the... Oh, well... Fuck you. You're not part of us. I'm counting with my doors. When I walk, when I would call my mom out on her BS, she would say, I'm not arguing with you anymore. And then ignore me and call her friends. So she's talking about me. Oh my God. I know right when they start calling other fucking relatives and stuff. Then, oh my God. I guess it's boxing and doors. Um, oh man. When you, oh, there is thing. Man. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh dear. Oh man. Zero kilobytes a second. Ah! Ah! Oh. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Uh, the Pegasus box ain't with the- Oh man! We see you! The stream's fine? It keeps dropping down. We're back? Alright. Pegasus Boxing with $10. My brother is this... Oh my god, he keeps dropping. My brother is this person to me. He's the youngest. I'm the oldest. Always insults me and talks shit to my parents. Oh, and my parents are blind. Even after attacking his girlfriend and the cops arresting him, they don't believe me. That's how it is, man. That's how it is. It's like... 
Like I don't I don't know what the I don't know what like the actual psychology is behind it. But what it what it feels like is it just feels like other people have priority, you know? Uh no go hippo trucker, thank you for doors. I feel like parents and millennials used to treating their children as kids is their way of holding on to their youth. I'm in my thirties, still the baby. Mm. Dream is as stable as a storm. You've been back to shitty quality? Phoenixing uh, Dolores moving away is the best thing I did for my sanity. Same! Listen, man. Listen. If your family situation sucks, just move. Just move. It's hard. Moving is hard. And it might take you a while. But get the fuck out of there. You'll love them so much more. Yeah, and then come big big bing. I can seriously relate. The mother... Oh, my mother sent... Me to a home when I was nine and then fought my dad in court for six years to prevent him from taking me and I still have people telling me to forgive her. Fuck her! Fuck her! Fuck anyone that's like, oh, well, forgiveness is really about... Oh my god, it's dying again. Sleep and ending in front doors. Relationships are two-way streets. You shouldn't be expected to respect someone that they don't respect you, even if they're family. F them. It's like... I don't think... I don't... I don't some relatives are... I don't... I don't think you need to forgive somebody. Right? I think... I think you can... I think the important thing is forgiving yourself. Right? And... Acknowledging... That like you don't... You don't have to be the person that people try to turn you into and stuff. You don't... You don't have to live affected by other people's shitty behavior and stuff. You know? You're you're free to let go of that pain. You don't you don't have to hold on to it. But you don't have to forgive them. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. It's just it's just I don't know. I don't know. And then yeah, it's another day thing with the four hundred? Uh, I love the family, not gonna lie, but when my mom pretends like she never makes a mistake or never says words that break our hearts, or... So one day I treated her the same bullshit she did to us, broke her into sobbing within half an hour? Yep. Yep. If you don't actually forgive someone, saying you forgive them is pointless because nothing changes afterwards. I just don't get the point. I just don't get the point, you know? I, I genuinely feel like people... Like, like, shitty people like that, it's just better, it's just better to forget they even exist. You know? Best bad news from Doors. I wish I could say I can relate, but I think it's more complicated than that. I.e., I'm an a-hole too. Granted, I've never known pennies of people. I mean, listen, this isn't like, oh man, I was such a victim. I never did anything stupid. I was never mean to anybody. Right? There were plenty of, there were plenty of times where I was the asshole in a situation. But f from my perspective on things... Growing up, right, with family. You're growing up with your family. They're the ones that are supposed to guide you to... They're the ones that are unironically supposed to be the bigger person. It's, it's their job. It's literally their job, you know? And if they're not going to be... I'm, I'm not saying they have to be doormats or whatever, or that they have to just take shit from you or whatever the fuck, right? But if they're going to create the negative environment, you just don't have to put up with that. It's like, why? If they weren't good to you and they didn't respect you, when you were younger, why would they respect you when you're older? Right? Because you're never going to learn to respect yourself if you're surrounded by people that don't respect you. And they're never going to respect you even if you do respect yourself. Because they just don't respect you. It's, it's just that simple, you know? They have their priorities. You are not one of them. Your well-being has never been one of them, even when you needed it. So it's just not worth it. 
No Glow Hippo Trucker Lane, my lords. By the way, the trucker part of my job is real. If you're over 21 in the USA, get your Class A and enjoy the freedom of the road. $800 to $1,200 a week. There you go, chat. It takes a long while to do it. It does. It does. My mom is super proud of the fact that she's stubborn and never admits she's wrong, and I've just given up on fighting anything, she says. I hate that shit so much, man. When people take pride... When people take, like, unabashed pride... And being, and being like, quote unquote, like, a bitch. Or... It's like, it's like, people... Like, older... I don't know if it's older... It's just, it's just certain kinds of people, they just, like, they cling to parts of their personal... Cling! To these specific parts of their personality that are negative. And they act like if they own it, that makes it not a negative anymore. Or that you can't be mad because it's just who they are. And it's like, if you're a fucking asshole... You're not quirky. You're just an asshole. And the only other people you're ever going to be surrounded by are other fucking assholes. Fuck nothing, my lord. Dude, my mom was robbing me of hundreds of dollars with my dad's alimony... Uh, of my dad's alimony every month while I was living paycheck to paycheck during college. She went to France two times. Jesus Christ. And girl boss and girl boss shit. Everything, my lord. This is why... You use this as motivation to become rich so you can use your wealth to make their lives miserable. This is why, this is why, this way. For a while, I hoped to become, like, a doctor. Because I used to watch these, like, doctor vlogs and stuff on YouTube. Where it'd be like... Life! Life in the hospital! And it's like they basically live, like, 24 hours on call. Sleeping at the hospital. They're making, they're making, like, 500,000 fucking dollars. They buy beautiful homes and shit, and they're never home, and they never have any responsibilities. Is there a thing? The three thirty-three for better or worse. We're glad you're in a better spot now, despite all those moments. Um, God, my stream is dying. God, we got so sidetracked. Um, uh, all those moments growing up, you may never really go to that, but you still fought to make it with your own hands. But I respect. Then, of you always. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You got this shit too, chat. Alright, if you're- if you're still- if you're still living with... If you're not living in your ideal situation... You can get out of it, you know? You can- you can get out of it. And it might feel like it's forever away. And it might feel like... You're not making any progress, or the progress is happening so slowly that nothing's ever gonna happen. But keep your eyes out... ...for opportunity. And once it happens, it'll happen so quickly. And it'll feel... ...so good... ...to be free. You know? Like, I love my parents. Right? I love my parents. But I don't enjoy living with my parents. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong... ...with that. Alright? You can still love your family. You might not just enjoy living with them. Alright? Uh, Frosty J thing, and Lord, just because someone is part of the family doesn't mean you have to be close. I had an aunt that lived with my family for months without paying rent. She even laughed at my stepfather when he asked for it. Yep, I've seen those. Mel D, thank you, Lord's family can have a warped way of what they think is the best for you, recognizing that it's better to just walk away from that because it's actually hurting you as part of going up. Agreed. Agreed. Even if they don't have negative intentions, malicious intentions, or whatever, you know, if it's... It's okay to be selfish, Dad. I know, growing up, that's like, that's like the big thing... ...that you're not allowed to be. You know, you're not allowed to prioritize yourself. You're not allowed to prioritize your dreams. You're not allowed to prioritize your well-being. Right? Somebody was mean to you, well, you have to be the bigger person. Somebody, somebody did something bad to you. Well, you have to, you have to forgive them. You can be selfish, chat. And you have to be. Sharing is communism. <laughs> it's, it's unironically a weak mindset. I'm gonna sound like an asshole. But it's a weak fucking mindset to be like, you have to live your life for everybody else. You have to cater to everybody else. All right. Don't be an asshole to your family. Right. I, I think it's good to support your family when you have the means to do so and shit, right? But you're allowed to be selfish. You're allowed to put yourself first. You know? 
Being selfish is okay as long as it doesn't hurt other people. You might, you might hurt other people, right? Because that's the thing. Other people will get their happiness from tearing you down. Other people will get their happiness from controlling you. Other people will get their happiness being a crab in the bucket and making sure that you never escape because they never did, you know? And it's going to hurt them. But you just have to, you just have to focus on yourself. You have to, you have to care about yourself the most, you know? And you're, you're told you're not supposed to do that. And you're told, well, that's, uh, that, that's, that's, that's cruel. Or that's psychopathic. Or that's like, well, how could you do that? Or blah, 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 blah. And it's like, every action has a consequence. Don't be afraid of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's. You should recognize when people do have your best interest at heart. But you should learn how to work around that accordingly, right? You should learn how their actions are actually affecting you. Because what's best for them... A vast majority of the time is not going to be what's best for you. Amir Lassing, come BP. Weather forecast, it's windy with a side of emotional deep talk. I needed to hear this. I'm, I'm, I'm glad... You're listening then, Arya. I'm a champion daily dueling, but more I don't know what I want, so I just live to help others. If that's, if, that, if that's what makes you feel good, then go for it. You know? You don't have to live your life in any specific way. Oh, we just have a super chat rating stream. I need to. I need to. In the end, you're your best advocate. Yeah. I can't wait for this thing to end of this. Oh, God. I just... Yeah. For me personally, my family's father treats me like a long-lost son when I visited them. Aww. Made me cry being greeted with hugs and kisses. Those were the best two years of my life. That's wholesome. That's wholesome. Just cancel my therapist appointment now! Don't cancel your therapist! Fun scathing about dollars. There are selfish people, and then there are selfless people. You don't have to be either, especially all the time. Exactly. Exactly. You don't have to be either all the time. But I think it's better to err on the side of being selfish because at the end of the day, you're securing your future. I know, I know that's not the nice take. I know that's not like the ooh, ooh um, be everyone's friend, da, 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 whatever take. But you need to take care of yourself before you can take care of other people. JJ Dog, then come big, big, big. Uh, basically, try not to hurt people who don't deserve it if you can. Yeah. And don't let people who do hurt you stay in your life for too long. Yeah. Um, Jason Raithing, I love my parents too, but it can be painful to be around them for extended times. I always wanted me to be normal, and I can feel the disappointment that I'm not, uh, seep out every so often. It hurts. I feel that. I feel that. Can you be my therapist? No, I can't be a therapist! Ah! Captured a porta potty being blown across a road in some- Screw being nice, nice people get shit on. No, you should still be nice! You should still be nice to people! It's just... You shouldn't prioritize anyone else's well-being over your own. China. Meanwhile, the guy inside it. Porta potty time. Ah! In a matter of seconds, this flow of water turns into a river. A lot of people feel like they need permission to be selfish. Chat. Chat. I'm giving you permission to be selfish. All right. Ah, uh, you don't need anyone's permission, but I'm personally telling you that I want you not to hurt other people. Okay. Don't go, like, out of your way to hurt other people. And try your best to not hurt people when you have the opportunity. But reality is... You know, sometimes you have, Sometimes... Sometimes... It's gonna so, I'm gonna sound like a fucking asshole, but, like, sometimes... To protect yourself, you have to hurt other people. You know? Sometimes... To have a future at all. You have to, you have to do things that are going to upset other people. And a lot of the time, they'll try and make it seem like it's worse than it is. Worse than it is, right? A lot of the times, it's... How could you, how could you do this to me? How could, how could you leave me? How could you... Blah, 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 right? And think about what's in their best interest. And think about what's in your best interest. And you don't have to compromise. 
Playing anything in $10. Pippa, have you ever read the works? Read the works of Anne Rand. Uh, no, I have a copy of Atlas Shrug and I never read it. Google Blitz and Gumby V. Can't believe it's been four plus months, Pippa, but real talk. So look after yourself first is the main reason I've never seeked a relationship. Uh, Nico, I think we're $2. It's like a plane. Secure your oxygen mask first. Rabbit, thank you, $2. Since we have permission, we demand free fix. Coordinator, thank you, the $2. Term therapy uses is self-interested, not selfish. Okay, well, maybe that's a better term. Maybe that's a better term! Read Anne Rand, please. I heard Anne Rand sucks. The Pegasus Boxing from Boris. There are nice people, and there are selfish people, and then there are people who leak classified military documents on War Thunder for the fourth time! Wrong <laughs> nothing from Boris. Anyone that tells you to be altruistic just want to exploit you because altruism is self-destruction for others' benefits. Mm. I think at the end of the day, being selfless is usually for selfish reasons, right? And once you truly, I feel like, understand that, it becomes easier to make other selfish, quote-unquote, decisions, you know? Because it's like, you're allowed to be selfish when it has good optics. You're allowed to be selfish when it appeals to other people and benefits their interest. But when you focus on your own interests, when you care about your own interests the most, when you put your own interests first, then it's an issue. And again, I'm not saying like go rob people because it's in your best interest or whatever, right? You should you should still have like morals, ethics. You shouldn't fucking hurt people. You shouldn't. But but again, sometimes you have to, right? You're starving to death. Okay, maybe you should steal. All right, I'm not telling you to go steal. Use your best fucking judgment. Use common sense. But if you're starving, you need food, maybe you need to steal. Maybe that's just how it is. The world's not black and white. Mess with those ink dealers. Be nice until you can't. Sama sama. Cuckoo Blitz and Gumby. We can't believe it's been four plus months, Pepper. Uh, but real talk, look after yourself first is the main reason. Oh, I heard that. Ah! Please, young thing, come big pippy. Does that thing over the five dollars? Here's my first payment for the Pakistani radicalization seminar. No! Oh my god. Uplifting people in any way is a selfish investment. I want my children to grow up in a kinder world. Mm. Being selfless? Selfless works best in mutually selfless relationship where both people are focusing on each other. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, that's still selfish, right? It's still for selfish reasons. Even if you are selflessly devoting your love to somebody else, at the end of the day, you're still getting something out of it, right? You don't, you don't do shit for no reason at all. And it's fine to recognize that. Don't, don't be tricked by people, okay? Don't be tricked into, into, into thinking there's like this ideal of I need to be completely selfless and I need to do these things that hurt me for everybody else's benefit. You can do things that are good for other people that are also good for yourself. And it's a lot harder. And it doesn't always line up as conveniently like that, right? But that's a path that you can take. It's a path that exists. And it's not always available. But you do your best. Go to Snap Care, Dolores. Officer, the bratty rabbit, told me to steal. No, I did not! Uh, Daniel Massey thing with the 1,000 clip arts. Enlightened self-interest is the best strategy. Is the only thing to do Altruistic ideals only thrive in high-trust society. Of rocks. Even charity lets you get feelings. Nothing is selfless. Exactly! Exactly! You're not donating... You're not donating the last $5 to charity for no reason, right? You're not... You're not like, okay, yeah, yeah, these, these people, they can have my last $5. I'm gonna donate my toys for tots, because those children could really use some toys. Sure, I'm starving. No! You donate five extra dollars when you have 20 extra dollars, and you're like, you know what? Sure. And it makes you feel good. Because you're in the position to do it. You know? Uh, and don't let people delude you into, into thinking you have to give up your last five dollars, or whatever, you know? It's like, it's just... Petrification thing with Can we have cinnamon rolls at the seminar? The hard thing with Lord's office the pink rabbit. I hear in my head told me that sometimes I have to make myself happy. I need to hurt people. No! It's a weird thing with Lord's. People do what they want from Mother Teresa to Jeffrey Dahmer. They do what makes them feel alive. Well, sometimes you shouldn't do what makes you feel alive. All right. 
And sometimes you have to you have to practice common sense. And if murdering people is what makes you happy, you need to not murder people. The last thing from 420, hippity hoppity, your joy is now my property. Jokes aside, this turned into a nice venting stream. I know people don't usually want to talk about this stuff because it's not all rainbows and sunshine, but it feels nice to be able to just talk. I'm glad. I'm glad, man. Click him on thing with Liza just won my 50 50 on the new Star Rail banner, making it rain. Let's go! Nice! Or something! I get Pippa my last $2. Oh my god. Thanks for the advice! For selfishness, I think. Oh, selflessness. I think it's best when done in private without expectations of an exchange. Once an expectation of exchange, it's just cashing in on a favor. I think that's true. Uh, you're still getting something out of it, though, right? You're still. You're not donating. You're not. You're not. Performing an act of charity, even in private, for no reason. It's usually to make yourself feel good. It's to give yourself that peace of mind. It's the feeling of atoning for past sins or balancing out your karma, you know? Burdenator, thank you for I donated my last five dollars to Bonoi. For about thank you for five dollars. I'm not donating my last five dollars to charity. I'm donating it back out you. Even if you're doing it anonymously, it's not selfless. No. Do some reading. Good luck telling Jeff that, though. Just shoot. That is still my first one. What the fuck? Uh, Caramel the rabbit person and Rodor's my family doesn't live that far away, but I don't visit them that much because they're all about family and I don't live like them. I get mocked. Yeah, I feel that. No drugs here, thank you for $5. Okay, Pippa, I won't get my last $5 going to work to get more money. Okay. Uncle Blaine, thank you for Uh, first step of first aid is to get out of the danger so you don't create two casualties. If everyone looks after themselves first, everyone's better off. This massive storm cloud. It's not wrong to look after other people. It's not wrong to be nice to other people. You should be nice to other people. You should help other people when you get the opportunity. All right? I'm just saying, don't allow other people to convince you into destroying yourself for anyone else's sake. Lord Selving, thank you for the dollars. Waiting patiently for Pippa to realize that when she talks about other people, she's really talking about narcissistic family members. Like, number one, thing, can be the only anonymous charity is real charity? I disagree. Looks like a gigantic tsunami heading right towards the city. I think it might be time for the cameraman to find some shelter. Those are some pretty spooky looking clowns. I wonder what would happen if you got caught in one. this voiceover. Itami Bukoro. Then you are the ten lawyers. This isn't charity. This is a tie to the church of Pippa. Look at that dude. That's a big one. You'd probably be teleported to Atlantis. What are these clips? Here's what a 15-foot storm surge looks like from the perspective of a CCTV camera. Ah! Ah! Those palm trees must have waited their whole life for this moment when they managed to survive while the surrounding buildings are swept away. Oh my god! Imagine how strong the wind must be to tear down the entire ah! roof of an apartment building. Man, this happened to my school gym once. It was the best shit ever. We had no gym class for like two months. It was crazy. What was everything from Lord Steel, Pippa? No! Mad Rental is in Gumby Pippa. Your tendons are music to my ears and your voice is angelic like the song Over the Hills and Far Away from the Baker's Hopper. What the hell? Most of the thing from Lord is for this. I'm in a rough spot in my life for stuff like this and I have no job and money to move out. It felt good to hear those words. Thank you. No problem, man. Instead of donating me to me, you should save your money. You should focus on on, on moving out, man. I, I I hope I hope you manage to do so soon. I hope like an amazing job opportunity pops up or something. No drugs here, then I'm gonna be being. Yeah, man, it was the it was the best. I remember we used to have to go to the cafeteria, and because it's like it's a cafeteria, right? So there's like there's not that much room. And I remember they would like fold up the tables and stuff. The tables like folded in half and they like roll up against the wall. But there still wasn't much room to do stuff. So, like, at the most, we just do, like, dodgeball. Uh, drag B, thing in the $10. I can't say everything done for others. I have a selfish aspect. My grandfather told me a story of how a neighborhood... A neighbor there smuggled them and his parents across the Poland border a bit before World War II. Holy shit. Holy shit. I still... I still think... Stuff like that comes from, like, the feeling... Of not wanting to feel guilty for somebody else dying when you could have done something, right? Like, you're still, you're still... It's not in your best interest, maybe, on, like, a financial level or on a, on a, like, mortality level, because you're risking your life, right? But... I don't, I don't think it's entirely selfless, you know? 
I think it's still a good deed. But I don't think, I don't think a good deed has to be entirely selfless. Uh, that's angry with the $1, Pippa. While you shouldn't let other people walk over you, you're approaching the other side of the coin with this. Red tear, you only do good things because it makes you feel good. No stupid. Feeling good is your brain telling you that you did good. You do good things. Because you're going to feel good. Right? Whether because it's just the side effect of not feeling bad for doing, like for inaction, or... Nobody, nobody does something. That's like... How, how, how do I word... How do I word this? This isn't like a flip to the opposite extreme. This is... You feel good for doing good things. Right? So you do good things. This is not... This is... It's not complicated. It's not complicated. Landing for Lord. Thanks, Pippa, for being able to talk about serious topics. People shy away from stuff, but I genuinely think you have helped a lot of people. Very reliable. Uh, Frozen, thank you for the two dollars. Pipcax Sturpot did not sign the social contract. Where's Badness and Dolores? Pippa's a better dad than my dad. Uh, Lucy ending with Dolores. Lol, even. Even in the face of self sacrifice, is selfish. I think to some extent, yeah, and it's not. It's not a negative thing. This is not like. This is not like. Oh my god, you're so selfish for saving people crossing the border to Poland in World War II. No! It's... You still did a wonderful thing. You still saved people's lives. It's not like... Oh man. You just did it so you wouldn't feel guilty. It's... Yeah, you would have felt guilty if you let those people die. You would have wondered for the rest of your life. Like... Could I have saved them? Could I have helped them? You know? It's not... Like, people, people take it to, like, this extreme. Where they're like, Oh, man! You did something so you wouldn't feel bad? Or whatever? It's like, no! No, you're... You're... Assuming... That... Protecting your self-interest is an inherently negative thing. And it's not. Direct directing with Andor, sometimes those love I love are relatives, sometimes they aren't. Sometimes doing the right thing feels pretty bad. Yes, yeah, sometimes it does. But you're still doing it because you know it's the right thing. Um as a hard thing with Fondor, it might sound selfish, but I often go out of my way to help others or do good things when I'm depressed so I can feel good and try to get over it. There's like a selfish element to it, but it's not it's not bad in any capacity. James Davidson, thank you for Lawrence. I don't return the shopping cart because it feels good, but because I should. But you would feel bad if you left the shopping cart. Like you would be aware you did a bad thing. Ugly thing in Lawrence. Altruism doesn't equal selfishness. Every action never has zero selfishness points. I agree, Rexton. I agree. It just feels like it paints a broad stroke. I think it's just human nature. I, th I think it's just human nature, man. If I need help, I'd rather get it from someone with a... What? With a fetish for it than not get it at all? What the fuck? I feel good when I return the cart. Unless you record it to show to people. Hot take? I don't care when people record their good deeds to show to people. I really don't. Are they thinking for Lord's literally and rant takes? I need to read and rant. Brendan Wolf thinking for Lord's. Uh, sometimes you do charitable things because you want to help someone. You found yourself in their position and that's okay too. Yeah, you're relating to them. You're acting based on your experience, your relatability to them. Again, it's self interest. You feel that empathy for them, so you want to help them, right? You can relate to them, so you want to help them. You experience the same thing. You understand their suffering. You have a human-to-human -human connection. And that's good. It's, it's still from like a place of self-interest. And there's nothing wrong with that. Am I, am I wrong to say that you're more likely to help somebody who has been through a similar situation to you, right? 
And say your house burned down, their house burned down. You are more likely to donate to them. Because you can empathize. It's rooted in a place of self-interest. Versus children are dying in Africa. Why aren't you giving them water, chat? Why are you giving why are you giving the American five dollars when their apartment burned down? When you can when when five dollars that would feed an African child for like a year. Well that doesn't make logical sense. Why don't you feed the child in Africa, chat? Odin scouting from Dolores. I don't feel like intentions behind an action dictate whether an action is selfish selfish or selfless. I think I think it comes from a place of self interest. Helen Rise, I think, from Dolores. I'll never forget when I bought an old man who forgot his wallet his dinner when I worked in the supermarket. My mom's reaction, why would you waste your money? I've been hit by that before, man. I've been hit by that before. But to be fair, I've also hit other people with that shit before. I get really cynical. I get really cynical sometimes. It's like, why why are you giving why are you giving the breast cancer foundation your money? You know that they just use it to line their CEO's pockets, right? I was looking for Dolores Fountainhead reading reading win. Because the money all goes to warlords? Okay, well, there's other, there's other examples of this. Only $5, you can buy steak for an African dictator. <laughs> anyway, Spectre to the thing with I hate kids, have five bucks that could have gone elsewhere. Watch the chilling moment when a massive and fast moving storm. There's an all bad thing for those. I do hope those African kids don't miss these five Brazilian dollars. Seconds. Listen, and Dolores, the warlord takes the Afro child's money. Being caught in a storm is never a pleasant experience, but being on a ship thing, Dolores, at the same time not healthy is... for African kids to eat paper. It's <sighs> ten times worse. What if I want to support a warlord? Jesus Christ. Advocate thing from Dolores. Folks think the term selfish means evil. Yeah, I, I agree. And they're getting offended because they think you're telling them doing good things is bad. I, I agree. I agree. I want to be clear. I don't think being selfish is bad. I don't think being selfish is bad. Maybe it's a strong word, right? Maybe it has like a lot of negative connotations to it. But I think... Oh god, stream keeps dying. I unironically think the stigmatization of the word selfish comes from like commie motherfuckers that are afraid of you caring about yourself because it goes against their best interest. Their best interest is you not caring about yourself and you giving away everything you have and glorifying this, glorifying the mindset that you can only truly be altruistic. You can only truly be a good person when you're doing things that are detrimental to yourself for the sake of others. When there's another path. Why should I think of Fandor? Here's five dollars for no reason at all. My little day thing of Selfishness and self-interest are not inherently bad. I agree. It's when you're use actively using it to tear others down that it becomes an issue. I agree. Plugs and thinking of one thousand clip art takes some money from the Nya gang. Definition of selfish is bad. David Hunt, the only people that think being selfish is bad are people that want what you have. Self-interest does not equal selfishness. I think it's the same thing. I think it's the same thing. I think selfish is just is just self-interest. But with a... Oh no! Uh, uh, or it, it's a weaponized approach, right? It's a weaponized approach. When you... Take a job promotion. It's for your self-interest, right? Self-interest is an excuse. When you, when, you, when you take a job promotion, you're doing it out of self-interest, right? But when somebody else needs that promotion more than you do, suddenly you become selfish. Think about that. Uh, prune juice guy, then come I think the word selfish alone is making people miss the point that you're saying. And not being altruistic isn't a moral failure. Hmm. Got a snap care, then come beep beep beep. These doors are the only thing stopping a whole river from flowing into this house. It's not the same thing. It is the same thing. Aqua thing, the noise. I'm not calling me. I choose to help others. I won't force people to share their wealth. Uh, think anything, friend, Lars. Pippa, are you sure you haven't read The Virtue of Selfishness? I have not. 
Now that's some quality craftsmanship. Well, I'm bonding for those. I still pretend to be bunny because hearing her like read my name gives me happy. Yeah, you guys, you guys don't donate to me out of selflessness, right? You're not like, oh man, this poor rabbit. I want to continue receiving content from her. You get a product, right? I am the product. Or you get a product, the product is me reading your super chat. And you can feel good about it because you're supporting a smaller streamer. Because you're keeping the content accessible to everyone. Because you're supporting a small VTuber company. Because this, because that, right? And I don't think you're wrong for feeling those things. I think that's perfectly fine. Right? That, that's just it. That's just it. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think there's anything wrong for recognizing it. I don't think that's a negative thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think... Having a uh, uh, any kernel of a selfish motivator is a bad thing. Boy, it's always a movie. Individualism is the cornerstone of being human. Mm, I agree. That's the thing with five dollars. Remember to always look out for number one. Ain't nobody more important than yourself. It's the thing gonna be four months with the moly bunny and her ant swarm. Listen, it's not an ant swarm anymore. Okay, can't wait for the flies to join so the pest army will take over the world. My night goes in dollars. Oh man, this poor rabbit. Jonathan buried in dollars worth. The Pirate Robert's in front doors. I can file these super chats as charity on taxes. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You have almost as missed backed up. Wait, you have almost as much backed up product as your boss said. <laughs> Shut up! Uh, average of best income, baby. Um, Pippa, the notion of selfishness, especially which that hurts you, is coming from almost all ancient cultures and religions. The notion of selfishness, especially that. especially which that hurts you. So? And how has it been warped over time? You're telling me- you're telling me that in ancient cultures... You were- you were wrong... ...for giving food to your family before giving food to somebody else's family? Don't fucking lie to me. Don't fucking lie to me. Alright? We were all singing Kumbaya and shit. There were times when we sang Kumbaya and shit. But it's not all the time. And when you sang Kumbaya and shit, it's because the sense of community, the sense of safety, made you feel happy. Because it made you feel safe. Because you gained something from it. You're not singing Kumbaya and shit if you're the fucking whipping boy and you're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, uh, 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 like, you would be fine if you went out on your own. But really, you know, you just want to suffer. You just want to, to be like the slave or whatever of the tribe. No! People do what benefits them. And it's just the end of it. And it's not bad. Officer Hot Pants and Dolores selfishly sending this exclusively to spite Africa. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think one doesn't clip arts. We can't save you. At least we can make fun of you for money. It's a win win. Fuck you. Jim Spinner, I think, with the $10. I give money to the Pink Rabbit because, in my honest opinion, she tells the truth that I want to hear. Uh, Lithium, my thing with a $2. Dollars. Meow! I don't think we're 30, 30, 30, 30. Selfishly giving this to a bead to add to the super chat list. Well, get fucked. I read it. Rabbiting Dolores Pipkin Stone. Coming up. King or signing with Dolores Pippa, you can't be a product because you are priceless. Oh, thank you. I don't believe in that though. I think everybody has a price. I think, I think when people say you are, you as an individual are priceless, it's just feel good, right? It's just, that's just like, that's just like candy. It's junk food for the brain. Everybody has value. And your value objectively goes up or down. Depending on what you bring to the table. And there's nothing wrong with increasing your own value. You know? Shouldn't murder people. Shouldn't hurt people. But society is not going to be kind to you if you're not kind to yourself. Hang on a sec. Oh, I read that. Uh, Pippa, guys, go. Pippa, you can just say you don't believe in selflessness. You don't have to redefine everything as selfish. I'm not redefining everything as selfish. I, I genuinely don't believe I'm redefining everything as selfish. I think... I, j I just think selflessness is rooted in your own self-interest at the end of the day. I, I, I really think that. Relaxia, thank you for the doors. Sending this because I'm not sending it to any damn third world communists. 
From handling of the Lord's economists literally define a rational person as someone who acts in their own self-interest. Well, economists are smart. That's why they have a lot of money. Oh, did Scal take five dollars? Not to say that be having a lot of my money automatically makes you smart. I see. I see the change logs for X slash Twitter. But and you can be completely broke and be a smart person. You can be completely broke and live a happier life than a rich man. But it's a lot harder to do. I wouldn't scout thing with five dollars. I agree with basically everything you said. However, I think the word selfish is just the wrong word because of the way the word is usually used. I think I think that's people's own fear of the words then. Sergeant Buckning and Lord switch from face connect to Prager U so we can make these selfish tax deductible. I think Prager U is a scam. I I chat Prager U I might lose something here. But I feel like Prager U is just it's like it's like What's Andrew Tate's thing called? Hustlers University? I think Prager U is Hustlers University, but for YouTube philosophers. Edwin or Alana, thank you for $10. We become altruistic when we have excess. Without that, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Uh, Andrew B, thank you for $10. How much to buy the Pippa? Sling, I think for $10. Today I learned my Oshi lives in one of the nicer suburbs of hell. The Carol, thank you I'm very selfish. Here's a monthly sub so I can continue to enjoy my favorite rabbit goddamn one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now you're right. Oh, thank you. Um... Nelly, thank you for the... For... 20. It's like when people instantly think of bad things when they hear manipulation. Even though you can manipulate objects, aka move them around. And comedy as a whole is someone... Something trying to make you feel a certain way, which is also manipulation. Yeah. Manipulation is not a bad thing. It's just that usually people use it to do bad things. It's a tool. It's a tool at the end of the day. Lucy and the employers. All right, Mofo, let's see them hands. YouTube philosopher is a thing now, I forgot. Anyways. Uh, Flaming TP, the employers, your value $10 million. $10 million or more to search and rescue? Jesus. The teacher finally lets you use the bathroom. I was drugged and left for dead in Mexico. Then come back to the pregnant you is based in mommy milk pilled. What the fuck? We're all manipulated every day without realizing it. Yeah. This Prager U doesn't sell classes lives. like Tate does. Prager U offers courses and they sell their stuff to, to schools and stuff. Prager U has stuff that they they have um they have like entire courses that they sell to schools to use in curriculum. Like before a massive flood, and here's after. And they take donations. This is actually your two dollars. I can't believe that Pippa skipped my message, Dad. I'm sorry! A building only for it to collapse in a matter of seconds. Next you for ten dollars. I'm going to selfishly ask you to wish my friend Blade up a happy birthday. He won't ask you himself. Happy birthday, Blade up! Happy birthday, Blade up! They don't? Are you sure? Happy birthday, dear Blade up! Happy birthday to you! Well, then why am I on Prager.u... Prager.u.com slash donate? If PragerU doesn't take donations, then how am I on PragerU.com slash donate? How is this- how is this a website then? If PragerU doesn't take donations... Just save the screenshot. Hold on. I'm on VPN, I should be fine. What is this site? That's crazy, chat. PragerU doesn't take donations? PragerU doesn't... PragerU doesn't want your money? Okay. You're getting grifted. I don't know if that's due to sloppy work or just plain bad luck, but either way, it's... I don't like PragerU. I don't like him. I, th I think... I think PragerU... is... How do I say this? I think PragerU... Is just another tool for politicians. I, I I think that's what it is. I think it's one of those businesses that pops up. It's like um, oh fuck, what were what were they called? There was like all those news shows and shit. What was the one? Oh man, I can't remember anyone's name. It was like Lawrence Southern worked for them and stuff. It's like they they exist to feed you the things that you want to hear, and then politicians pay them to convince you to think. The things 
that they want you to think. Rebel media, yeah, like rebel media. They, they, they. Tr how do, how do I say this? They say things you want to hear. Politicians pay them to say things politicians want you to believe in a way that you want to hear. Lieutenant Freddy, thank you for those. Dennis Prager is literally an oil-funded billionaire. Yep. Sucks. The things fly. Oh, it's a think tank. Thank you, Shada. Hello, Shada. I'm sorry, I read that your one doesn't go parts. Are you saying Prager you for what he's up? Prager you. What? What, what's wrong with the way I pronounce it? Now with Merkel Hopper, thank you, Dolores. Virgin, I roll Dennis Prager versus Chad, YTP, Dennis Prager. Hello, Shana. Sorry about the caps lock, it's fine. Rebel, Blaze, Daily Wire, they all do the same thing. Yeah, the hard thing for Dolores. Grift, 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 get Prager for Oh, fuck off. I'm calling her to Dolores. Remember when Prager you defended? What? <laughs> Around our I don't know about that one. Problem in this video. Just watch how one of the cranes also. But Pippa, how does that make them different from any other school or news? I think there are aspects of, like, especially the news, right? I think I think the news definitely they only tell you what you want to hear in ways that you want to hear it, and they're funded not just by politicians but by literally. Anybody, right? You can be a small business and you can pay to get on the news, right? It's just, it's just maximum overship. But with schools, yes, politicians have a hand in shaping and teaching you to think the way that they want you to think and shit like that, right? But school is also not designed from the ground up for that, right? Like, I just, I, I don't, like, I think they have overlap in some aspects, but they're not, they're not the same thing at all, right? School is not, you don't, you don't go to school and watch fucking, like, the equivalent of PragerU videos. And then, they ask you to donate, right? It's more like, you go to school, and they teach you some valuable skills like math and shit. And then they use, like, statistics from that in order to manipulate other problems in the world. You know? Sheena! Uh, hello, Piva. I'm just setting up IKEA furniture to your stream. Don't mind me. Oh, okay. I hope, I hope you managed to set it up well. I hope you don't lose any screws. Hey, Zing, come be PB! Thanks for the serious chat earlier. It's always great when you have such chats, but personal love. Uh, thank you, thank you. Massive dojang. Do I one political... Which political YouTuber you want to interview? I don't want to interview any of them! I don't want to interview any political YouTuber! Because they're all fucking annoying! <laughs> don't go ahead, anyway, three, three. If you don't like PragerU, what about PragerU? Um, what? Fuck off! Fuck off, man! Oh my god. Anyways. Yeah, schools optimally teach you valuable skills. PragerU teaches propaganda while saying trust us. Exactly. I'm one thing for those. I think college and universities are scammed because the number of people in debt from them is insane. With the internet, you can be self-taught. I think so, but at the same time, like, how do you... Oh, God, this stream has gone so off the rails. But how do you... How do you... Like, it's more difficult to qualify... Or, or to say somebody's qualified, right? It, it's more difficult when somebody self-teaches themselves. And, like, it worked in the past, right? Like, theoretically, back in... Back in olden times, you know, you didn't go... You didn't have to go to university to... Say you're a plumber or whatever. But the trade-off is it's also more accessible now. You know, like anybody can be a plumber or whatever, an electrician, whatever the fuck, right? You don't have to have these... You don't have to have this knowledge passed down to you by family members and stuff. But the trade-off is... Is because there's no, like, guarantee you're getting these same... Levels of teaching that... Yeah. Do some free exams. I guess there are, like, certifications and stuff, but... I don't know. I don't know. You kind of do, you still have to apprentice. Yes, you, 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 you get taught by people. You pay to get taught by people now, right? You don't just, you don't just go and apprentice somebody. And get paid, right? 
maybe maybe you don't have to pay, but you're working for free because you're an apprentice, right? You're you're an intern, you're whatever. You're shadowing, you know? But there's 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 trade-offs here, is what I'm saying. Brian landing dollars. I got a mask. Oh my god. Lapse is in the background. I don't know why I keep on pausing. Potato radio thing for twenty dollars. Keep in mind uh, ethics, uh, meta ethics has been argued for thousands a year. Via mortality, intrinsic or learned. Uh, confession for regret or fear of hell or Buddhism. If good or bad is an illusion, get the audiobooks of Ayn Rand! Jesus Christ! Uh, Mr. Hand to my AMV maker, I think it was. Is there a Prager U? Is there a Prager We? What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm a parent. Oh, I'm literally a paid apprentice? You're a paid apprentice. Doing what? Doing what? I've never heard of a paid apprentice before. What are you? What are you a paid apprentice of? What are you doing? Apprentices are paid, dude. Apprenticing with what? It's not uncommon. Okay, well I never had those opportunities. <laughs> okay, I guess they exist. But I, I never, I never saw any of that. I've never, I've never seen that. Plumbers and electricians get paid apprentices. Quite common. I think you're thinking of interns. If I'm confusing shadowing? I don't know. I don't know. It's really common. Oh, in programming it's common. I'm so used to nobody getting paid until they have like... Fucking a cemented job. Uh, is there a thing if I get the base? Intern is different. Mm -hmm. Apprenticeship is paid, but it's so crap. Yeah, you gotta go to a union hall to see it. If you intern for free, your field isn't worth it. Ah. Yeah. Um, intern's usually a paid now. What the hell? Because I know thing where the ten dollars apprenticeships and trades are paid, internship is free. Drag B thing five dollars. Florida and state Republicans are okay. So I was con I was confusing apprenticeships and internships. I guess I was I was bleeding them together. Uh, Florida and state Republicans are trying to get teachers to teach classes using PragerU videos. That's propaganda trying to be forced on kids. I mean, you know, like, your school textbooks are propaganda as well, right? I don't... Okay, like, a hot take. I don't... I don't understand the moral outrage when people are like, Oh, no! Don't use PragerU videos in school. Like, I don't like PragerU, but, like, you know, like, your, your textbooks are all propaganda as well, right? It's... Like, if a school wants to use... If, if a school looks at the PragerU curriculum and uh, our, our courses or whatever, and they think it fits their curriculum, and they want to use it... Whatever. I, 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 I don't think it's an issue. Highland Jungle Loading or $20. It's not that college is a scam, it's that everyone was told to go, so it oversaturated the market, dropping value. Some people went into things they couldn't do, the other went into useless degrees, not everyone needed it. It was definitely... Like, when I was younger, it was like, it was like strong-armed. Right? When I, when I was going to school... Um... It was like, I remember, I remember... Filling out, like... Um, these grant program things... Um, going... We had, like, these mandatory courses where we had to, like, go and apply for... Um, potential scholarships, or, like, look at... We, we had... Oh, here's what we had to do. We had to go to, like, this one website. And there was, like, these lists of scholarships and grants and stuff. And we had to pick, like, ten of them, or whatever the fuck. And explain how we qualified for them, and how we could use them to get, like, a... To... To... To get a degree. We had to do another one, where... They gave us a binder, and we had to fill out the binder. And it was all shit. It was like, you had to write, like, an essay on what your plan would be from the second you graduate. Um, actually, I think it was before you graduate. It's what can you do before you, two years before graduating, and then 
two years after so it's like a four year thing a four year step or whatever um i remember we had to look at different colleges we had we had to do different essays on different colleges and explain what uh degrees we'd be interested in at those colleges like what those colleges offered um i'm trying to think of what else it was the college field trips at least once a year um going to going to different colleges and shit i usually skipped out on those I, I went to one of them i went to one of them and it almost tempted me i remember i remember during during the field trip thing at that point in time i was interested in joining the rotc and i was looking at their pamphlets they had and they were all about like veteran suicide rates and i was like oh, okay Oh, see, you think the propaganda is only okay when it's my propaganda? That's how people feel, man. What's the thing? I'm big to be. Uh, dynamic doodle thing for dollars. I'm being paid while I train for my trade. My final is tomorrow. I should probably study. You should study. You should study. I'm trying to think of what else. Dim the lamb thing for teen. Uh, is it true that in American history lessons, children are taught that America won World War II? Yes. I had different. Because I hopped around from like school to school. I had some history textbooks that were like, no, we didn't kill Indians. We, we didn't kill any natives. What do you mean? The natives went to war with us and we had to defend ourselves. And then I had other ones where like, we slaughtered them. Andrew Jackson invented the Trail of Tears and we walked them to their death. We left them for dead and we brutalized them at every turn. It was... It was kind of whiplash. <laughs> Just because we literally did. It, 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 it's just... Okay. There's no way... To like... Make a history book like objective, right? Because realistically... The people writing the textbooks and shit... Were not there. And... Whatever angle is in the textbook... Is going to be the one that's accepted, right? So it's like, depending on where you are, depending on what environment in you're in, you're gonna have like different types of propaganda. You know, that's just that's just how it is. Because everyone has their own interpretation of events, and some interpretations are more correct than others. But ultimately, how how you word things, it's it's so. I I think it's like near impossible to have entirely neutral language. Uh, yes, I know, thank you for the two dollars. Did you have a war of northern aggression? Yep. Say so, thank you for the eight. Ten? I had this one US history teacher. Throughout the entirety of our civil war... Uh... Oh, uh, uh, what's the... Oh, fuck, what's it called? What's it called? Segment? Not segment. Um, unit! Throughout the entirety of our civil war unit! He's like... Now, there were crimes on both sides. And it was about states' rights, alright? They try and tell you that it was about slavery. But it's a lot more nuanced than that, alright? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and it was just the... It was... It was... I, maybe he was just trying to make like a very balanced perspective. I don't know. But like... I don't know. Growing up here, I like... Certain things, and then having having a U.S. history teacher that goes so far out of his way to show the other side. Maybe maybe he was just really passionate. I don't know. I don't think he was because I think he he was. How do I say this? I think he wanted to be the PE teacher, but there was already a PE teacher, and he had a history degree, but his real passion was basketball. So, pick and samurai thing for the last every conflict in human history was won by the good guys. How lucky! I know, right? And if it wasn't won by the good guys, don't worry. That's why we're going to war for it now. Man. <laughs> He's disgruntled enough to teach real history. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what his angle was. Uh, losing my nerve thing, by the way. The Civil War was about abolishing a voluntary union of states and empowering the federal government. I'm not gonna get into this, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into this. You know, scanning $10. 
they tried to tell you it was about slavery because it was literally about slavery. I, I, this is gonna be a fence sitter take. But I think everyone has their own interpretation of what it was about, okay? I think everybody fights for their own reasons. And some people fight for shitty reasons. For the good guys. And some people fight for good reasons for the bad guys or whatever the fuck. But at the end of the day, it's none of my fucking business, all right? It happened so fucking long ago, I don't care. Leave it to the people that are actually nuanced in this field to talk about it. I just took a unit in, in, in middle school, okay? Uh, can I? I think it were the $2. Actually, I took multiple U.S. history courses. But they all teach you the same shit, just in different words. And I think it was New York, New Jersey, Missouri were Union slave states. We're not getting into this! Despite the guiding of the the most accurate description for the Civil War is fought over the balance of state versus federal powers. I don't know. Let's... We're for the mission, I think, of the The U.S. did win World War II, though. In only a couple of... Well... Well... Everyone's got their own interpretation. Slinger, I think, of the Why did you bring up the Civil War, Pippa? Somebody else brought it up first! Minutes, this neighborhood went from harmonious to chaotic as a fast moving derecho storm raced across Jesus Iowa, Christ. devastating every So, how about that weather? Hundreds of miles. <laughs> oh, ironically! Holy shit! These guys who live where it's almost. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Park your car in the garage, dude! Oh, and juggling for Lord, since we're on the topic of the Civil War, can we please make Quash Party a Razor Fist Abraham Lincoln video? Pretty please? What the hell? As of those anger Lords, California is giving out Okay, come on then. Have the perfect excuse not to come to work because I store Would anything help this? Can you get like a car cover for this? Lily wish after things are So these are some crazy weather videos, huh? Lucy and Lingard, two dollars extreme to both ends. Storms causing their cars to look like this is an all too common experience. That's fucked up. Well, that's on like the slush, side, man. That's like it rained and then it froze. Perfect way to prevent car theft. That is, as long as you don't forget to roll up the windows. It's over. Let's bend this angel. Dang. Dang it. Missed something cool tonight. No, you did not. Car cover makes it easy. I would, I would think so. To be able to turn cars upside down. Wait, is that in a pool? Ah! If you ever find yourself in a storm ah! with strong winds and see a crane nearby, remember this but video and get the heck Oh, here's my tuition check for Peppa. You, I just like the extreme weather on both sides. Oh my God! Ah! Luckily, in this case, no over the five dollars. I think round. Massive flooding okay. at Yellowstone. Uh, so basically you're too large. USA 2, time World War Tips. Forecasting thing dollars war gay. Toronto Plan plus thank you for the five dollars. I only get my history from the most accurate sources of British TV show Horrible Histories. These guys thought they were having a Okay, that's another fear of mine. This is another fear of mine. When you see those videos where like the road just breaks out from underneath somebody as they're going by. Sebastian Mount Rolling, Fun Dollars. Chat brings up controversial history topic. Also, chat. Why did you bring up controversial history topic up, Pippa? Oh no! These guys thought they were having a nice dinner at a restaurant by the. I had to step out for a bit. I don't know if you covered this and missed it, but one of the most extreme weather events I can think of is the fire tornado. People have been talking about fire tornado. Well, suddenly, got some unpleasant company as a storm swept in. Oh my god. I don't think they'll Talking about sinkhole videos. Well, it doesn't have to be sinkholes. The. If I were these guys, erosion can just take away the road as quickly as possible because you don't want to get swallowed up by a huge tornado like this. Jesus and Christ! You should never stand under trees in a thunderstorm. Jesus Christ! As onlookers gather to watch flash flood waters crashing down a road in Saudi Arabia, ah! one truck was caught in the middle and narrowly avoided being swept away. Oh, I've seen this one! Look at him go, Chad! This is sick! This is Indiana Jones shit! So many white cars, it's like we're I'm back in Brazil. Guess that at least a couple of people are gonna get their Amazon deliveries a little bit later than expected this time. Flash floods are crazy dangerous, yeah. Ah! That's the vehicle that carries my packages. 
And this that's the one that that's the one that has that strong enough to overturn a heavy truck into ah! oncoming traffic. Okay, another fear, another fear. Ah! Oh my god. I would just assume I'm gonna die. This video captured during a storm illustrates how dangerous it is to land on an aircraft carrier and how many skilled people it takes to bring oh, an man. aircraft back aboard. Just watch as this jet pilot had oh, to make man. a blind landing on the aircraft carrier. I've walked home in 80 mile per hour winds. I'm glad you didn't get swept away. Oh man. This girl really found herself in a tricky situation. I think we saw this one in the other one, but it didn't actually show us the whole thing. She got out of there uninjured once the strong wind started to let up. She is getting her ass beat. Josh, check in. Thank you for one dollar. Prager, you? Ah, uh, exists? He convinced people that capitalism is an indentured servitude that not trusting people to contribute isn't juvenile, but empowering carrot and stick is for animals. I remember signing up for college by accident. I filled out the application on the real site and not the fake one set up for practice. Oof, no drugs here. Wait, don't you have to pay? Don't you have to pay? They just let you... They just let you fill it out for free? Huh? Huh? And here's what Florida looked like as it was battling... Yeah, thank you, Lars. I'm a liberal F... Our wins and California, F Prager, you F progressives. Okay, very cool. Thank you. The catastrophic you had to pay a lot of yeah, a lot of colleges they make you pay chat oh community college what a lot of colleges it's like no there's a registration fee yeah that's called paying you how did you submit the form without paying Flooding even managed to move an entire building, but the storm stood no chance against these palm trees. Fifty-five dollars for me. I wonder where this guy got his windows because they have to be bulletproof to not break when hail as big as golf balls crashes down on them. Jesus Christ! Well, either way, it sure was a good investment. Hopefully. Oh, you know what was annoying though about that college stuff, chat? Do you use pit crew? Sometimes. Um. You know what was annoying about college stuff? I remember... So, my schools, right? We're always so obsessed with, like, prepping you for college and stuff. Fast. Oh, yeah, I remember having to fill out FAFSAs and shit. Oh, my fucking god. That was mandatory. That was mandatory. Jacob, public thing for the one dollar. That shit counted for, like, a fucking majority share of your grade. Fuck that shit, man. Um... I'm trying to remember. Oh, the thing with college. Okay, I remember. So there was like a there was like a, a local community college, right? And they made us go in to take like these these placement test things. And I scored so high on these placement tests that I qualified for like two years. Free, which is basically like all of community college, right? That's like, that's like you, you spend like two years at community college and then you move on to like a real college, right? But the way that my school did shit is it was like three months past the deadline in order to qualify for the grant. Wait, you're not dumb. I, I am dumb. I am dumb. I'm just decent with taking tests. Which... Why would they set it up like that? Why do they force you to do all this college shit? They force you to take these stupid fucking placement tests. And you can't even take advantage of the grants you get if you do well? That doesn't make any sense! That makes no sense! I would have to... I would have to wait! Another year! Take the test again! And then follow through with it! This is stupid. It's part of the plan. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. The best part is, is they don't even tell you. They don't even tell you about the grants, chat. I was sitting at the, at the community college. 
waiting for something. I don't remember what. And they have like this, this spinny rack with like these little clear trays in them. And I was just like rifling through papers bored. And I saw the grant shit and I was like, wait, this is for the, this is for the test that they just made me take. And then I take it up to the, to the counter and they're like, yeah, you would have had to have applied for this two months ago or whatever the fuck. And it's like, and then I told the teachers at school and you know what they said to me, chat? You know what my fucking homeroom teacher said to me? She said, oh, well. He also remembered to park his car in the garage. If not, he'll probably need a Fucking new one assholes. by tomorrow. It seems like Thor was having yeah, a bad. bad day in this neighborhood. Public education is pretty incompetent. It is. I used to get in trouble for asking questions, chat. I did not realize when I was younger that teachers just read out of a fucking book. And they don't care about what they're teaching the majority of the time. So I used to get in trouble for asking too many questions. Like they would straight up, they would straight up go off on me. It's like, you're the fucking teacher. You should, you should know about the subject that you're teaching. I feel like that's just like a basic prerequisite. And if you don't know the answer, then why don't we find the answer together? And from part two, thing with the 200 yen. Where's my grant for two years? The pip are you? This is this is so dumb. This is so dumb. They don't teach; they instruct. True, true. Those that can't do teach exactly. I stand by that. I stand by that. I'm sorry, teachers. There's some good ones. I had one. I had one science teacher. That that really that really helped me truly love science. Right? She was big into ornithology, which I was really into birds. So, doing, doing her courses and stuff about birds, it was, it, it, was, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. And good teachers are worth so much. They are. They are. She was so wonderful. And it was all just downhill from there, man. It was all... Well, I can't say that. I had a math teacher that I really liked as well. I had a math teacher that made me really enjoy math. Um, nothing better than a passionate teacher, but they are rare. They are. I remember we had a woodshop teacher that was passionate, but he was like stern, right? He was like more of a, he was more strict, but he like obviously cared about what he was doing. And he, he wouldn't like let you mess around in his class or whatever, but like he was, he was a pretty chill dude. He just, he just didn't want you fucking around. And I remember when he announced his retirement. The fucking auditorium cheered. And it just blew my mind. Was he good? Yeah, he was a good teacher. He was a really good teacher. I just... I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't get it, chat. I don't get it. I don't understand kids. I don't understand teachers. I don't understand anything. I had a jelly teacher that would bring in fossils. Oh, that's sick. That's fucking cool. Thor museum. What the fuck? And this is what it looks like when Thor is happy. Ah, oh, it's a heart. How did Doodly take me Doodly Doodly? Because the teachers are rounding air. True. It would take a lot for someone to spend time. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a wild card. Oh, baby, Thor, my birthday was yesterday. Can you please have birthday shout out? Also shout out for you, Mrs. Oklahoma. I love her. <gasps> Notification. No more. Say what you will about California, but the state basically pays for your tuition and books up to an associate's degree. Plus extra money for you to use on other things. FAFSA, West Coast, Best Coast. The fuck? College? Wait. California pay? What? Is that true? It's saying no. Is that true? It's a lie. What the fuck? What the fuck? That isn't true. That's why I was interested in ROTC, because ROTC would pay for your college. I was like, bro, like, I looked at the ROTC, I was like, man, 
Why would I do anything else? Not only do I have to only you only okay for the ROTC. I, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, for the ROTC, it's like you do like two years of college, right? They pay for all of it as long as you stay in the ROTC, and then you go into service, right? Not like active duty. You're not active duty. They don't just like ship you out to fucking Iraq or whatever, right? They just stick you on like a base somewhere and make you do like stupid paperwork and shit. Okay? Um, if you're doing like Air Force, anyways, I don't know about other branches, but um, Pro TC, Air Force route, anyways, that's what the recruiter tells you. No, I used to watch those ROTC vlogs and stuff, like people, people talking about their experience. And it's like, it's like chores and bullshit like paperwork, man. It's like, it's like, you go, and I think it's, you only have to, you only have to be there for like, two or four years. I think, I think it's, I think it's two years. I think it's, you do ROTC, that's two years, they pay for that. Then you go, and you do a minimum of two years, and then you can renew for more. And they'll pay for your college again after, or some shit like that. Don't join ROTC unless you want a military career. It's fine. Eight years. It is not eight years. It is not eight years, chat. Hold on. ROTC. How many years of service? Three years. Wait. Scholarship winners must serve for years. Okay. Okay. Scholarship winners must serve for four years. Non-scholarship cadets who enroll in the ROTC advanced course must serve for three years. Okay, so I was, I was, I was off. I was off. I think it's, I think it's re-enlisting is minimum two years at a time then. It's interesting for those students know when teacher doesn't care. So I make sure my kids know how much I love math and care about them. Aww. It's interesting. You're a math teacher? I feel, I feel like you might have said that before. I'm sorry if I forgot. Four active, four inactive. Why did I think it was two years college, two years service? I think, I think I, I think I got stuck on the floor number. And I have it. Very in Dark Angel, Linger the Five Dollars. Four years of JROTC will give you a boost if you decide to join. Four years is a standard contract for most people, and you can only renew after that. Real character, Linger Five Dollars. You have to pay fast so back, but I've gotten grants that covered a whole semester, being three point plus GPA. I don't use school housing, so I save a lot. Foreign active means I can call you back for up to two years. Ah. They probably lied to you. I don't think they lied to me. I think I just misremembered. Lucky you, Ling of Dolores. Imagine finally worming your way into the company command and someone says, Hey, here's your new XO or X bleh, XO! First Lieutenant Pippa, a special kind of soup sandwich. That's the thing, Dolores. I can't imagine you being a military officer. I couldn't either, man. CPT C Tar didn't come to I'm glad I didn't go that route. I'm glad I didn't go that route. I just did, I just did, I just did the content creator grind. And I applied for a bunch of jobs at factories and minimum wage jobs and never got accepted anywhere. <laughs> I kept trying to, I kept trying to get jobs and I, I filled out, I filled out so many fucking applications for like field and factory work shit chat. And none of them accepted me. And I told Mama Kid, and she was like, Oh, you can only get those jobs if you're a minority. And I was like, What? 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Alright. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so. Yeah, I never... I, I applied to Walmart, chat. Fun fact. I remember... I remember... Overthinking so much. Every time I applied to somewhere that was... Like, outside my city, right? Because I lived in a very, very small town. Very small town. Um... So I started applying for... Stuff in, like, the city nearby. And I didn't have like a driver's license or anything. And I was like, I was like thinking in my head, I was like, man, 
I'm gonna have to, uh, oh man, I'm gonna, like, if they accept me, I'm gonna have to wake up at, at this time and take the local bus, which is like a mile down the road, and da -da 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 -da. And I kind of wonder what my life would have been like. You know? I wonder what my life would have been like if I went that route. I remember hoping for the job at, like, Petco. I remember applying to Petco. And I was hoping so bad. And I talked to my parents about it, and they were like, You're not gonna get that job unless you go in and talk to them. And I was like, well, what about Walmart? And they're like, You're not gonna get that job unless you go in and talk to them. You have to march right in there, and you have to ask to see, uh, the person in charge of hiring. And you have to hand them your resume. And I was like... Well then why do they have online applications? What? <laughs> Lucy and they are too speaking as a minority, your mom was not wrong! <laughs> man, they would've made you do the Walmart chance. They're not wrong? Not entirely true? I don't know, man. Old mindset? Your parents were exactly the same way? I don't know, maybe they were right! I never managed to get a job! I never, I never managed to get a job! I tried! I tried! I remember staying up into the early hours. I would... <laughs> I would... I would edit videos. I'd spend like all night editing videos. Because it made me so happy. And then I'd fill out job applications. Riding the high. Of how good I felt uploading a video. <laughs> I'd like... It's like... It's like... Having dessert before before eating your vegetables. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just and then I'd sleep like all day long. <laughs> I'd wake up. I'd wake up at like Honestly, like the time I woke up today, like 8 p.m. Like just as it's getting dark. I'd wake up like just as it's getting dark. And I'd I'd spend all my time just editing videos, man. This was your calling. Kind of. I didn't end up doing, like, video editing, or being a Let's Player. I ended up being a streamer, which is adjacent. Naturally negative thing for Dolores. I'd love to read what the stage Pippa considered a resume. Oh my god, I... I, I don't know, I don't know. Chat. There was, there was, there was this Reddit post. I know, Reddit. But, there's this Reddit post that had a bunch of these, like, free exams and certifications and stuff you could take. Some of them were paid. A lot of them were paid. But I remember, I remember going on there and filling out a bunch of those. So I'd get like these quote-unquote like online certifications just to pad the fuck out of my resume. Because I had nothing, right? I had nothing. So I was like, if I just spam as much shit as possible on there, if I list off- Did it work? No. It did not work. I never got hired anywhere. I never got hired anywhere. I remember the only time... The only time I ever had the opportunity to have a job... Was when I was on a plane. I was on a plane. And the woman beside me... We happened to- We happened to start talking. And she was like... Oh! Oh, you live here. You you live in this area too. Not the area where the plane was taken off, but we happened to. She she was like just moving to. The um, the town that I lived in. And she was like, "Oh, I'll pay you to be a farmhand." And I was like, "Oh, nice. Okay." And I took her card and stuff. I remember, I took her card and I took her number. But I I was a neat at that point. And. I was just going back to... I was just going back to school. And so it was like, I didn't really have time to do both. So... I prioritized going back to school instead, and it's like, man... What if I had just done it? What if I had done it? What would my life have been like, you know? What would my life have been like? Uh, burn editing for doors. Can you please one day show us some videos you'd upload on stream? If it's safe for you, of course. I want to see Pippa pre-Pippa. Would be fun. I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Don't you tell me I'm anything from Doris? Did you get forklift certified? No, there was like unicorn hunter and shit. Not like unicorn like VTuber fan, but like there was there was a bunch of like really random shit. There was like um spreadsheet certifications. Stupid shit. They didn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything. Uh, Alex Blackfoot, think of the ten dollars. The digitization of the hiring process has been a disaster for the workforce. Typical thing. Bing. 
it was it was like there were like silly ones you could do like pokemon master unicorn hunter then there was like spreadsheet um 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 spreadsheet google docs like i just spam them man i just I, I, I just spam them and then there were other ones that i'm trying to think there were like a lot of programming ones and stuff but that's not I didn't end up doing any of those. Even though I did kind of have an interest in it, but... Look, man, thank you for I almost got suckered into an MLM because a lady approached me at my Whole Foods job and I was looking for a better job. I was... I was tempted for a while. I was tempted for a while, man. Because I have... I have family members that do MLM stuff. And it was like, man... I'm so terminally online. Like, if I... If I did something like this, maybe I could make... At least a little bit of money, you know? But then I used my better judgment and I was like, no, no, pyramid, pyramid scheme is not a good idea. I'm inside one during a storm. Don't join an MLM chat. I lost thousands because of those. Yeah, and you have to like, you have to like pay for like a starter kit and shit. And it's like, I was, I was breaking it down and it was like, if I'm going to pay for a starter kit, why don't I just like pay for, why don't, why don't I go on like, AliExpress or Alibaba. I think it was Alibaba then. Why don't I go on Alibaba and buy some like physical merchandise and then just sell that online, right? Like why would I, why would I buy somebody else's starter kit when I can buy actual wares for cheaper? You know? You should drop shipping. Almost did that. There as giant waves come crashing towards Almost you. did that. Uh, definitely I set up I set up a drop shipping site with Shopify. I I did the branding, I did the domain, I did I did everything. And I think the only reason I didn't go through with it was because my 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 channel at the time started to take off a bit and I was like, "Oh, whoa, 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 whoa." Which in hindsight, if I'd been smarter, I could have I could have I guess focused on like, I could've, I could've combined them both or something. But I was like... Man. Are you rich? It doesn't cost anything to do dropshipping, really. You just buy a domain name. Shopify has a free trial. Check with your Tenors. Should've been a dentist, could've fixed your own teeth. Oh my god. Joe Vicky, thank you, Tenors. I'm happy you're not living in the shed, Piva! Eh. I gotta say, I gotta say, my sister... Um... That I was shitting on earlier. She did offer... She did offer to let me live in her back shed. She had a, um... She had like a, like a back... Detached... Thing. And she was like, yeah! If you do chores, and for $400 a month, plus like... Whatever power you use and stuff, how much, how much ever power and water you use... And I remember thinking... You're gonna charge me. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna charge me for for excess amounts, aren't you? This is a scam. This is a scam. You're gonna you're gonna <laughs> for a shed. Well, it had like a door and like a window and stuff. Like it was like a nice shed. It wasn't like a rickety tin shack or anything. With a twenty the Messiah. I'm thinking. I'm I'm thinking. It's like one of those cottage houses. Kind of. I don't. It. I don't think it had like a bathroom or like running water or anything. But it was like a thing I could live in. Not quite a guest house. No. But I was just like I. I just. I just. I had like that. I had that like little. That little. That little voice in the back of my head that was like, she's gonna say that you're using like a hundred dollars in water or something. Just to. Just to to gouge you. Don't do it. Don't do it. So I didn't do it! Not the best job out there. The only thing scarier than watching a tornado tear down everything in his At that point, just stay in a tent for free. Speeds as high as 480 Lame. kilometers per hour in the most violent scenario. Because who's gonna live in the cuck shed? How come landing your dollars for $400 a month just get in office and live in it? What do you mean for $400 a it's month get in office? Where can you get an office for 400 Well, I guess, I guess like in a city and stuff. I guess maybe in a city you can do that. Rent was so bad where I lived. 
it was it was so so bad um i'm grateful i'm grateful that things are more realistic where i live now because where i was it's like why was it was like it's like it's like really there's like laws and stuff about how many um houses and shit that they can put up and it was like a small community and the vast majority of the community was old right like this is a this is a very historic town with not a lot of new people and not a lot of opportunity right so if you wanted opportunity you had to go to the city that was kind of close by but still out of the way um so I remember, I remember, I, I was like, I'll get a studio apartment. That'd be, that'd be so, like, that'd be cost efficient, right? Like a studio apartment, everything's like all rolled into one. And then I found out studio apartments are more expensive than a regular fucking apartment. Somebody explain that one to me. Somebody explain how studio apartments are like 0.5 times the fucking price. Stacked on. Like, it's, I, 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 I don't... What? What? It's a studio. It has no rooms! It's one room in a bathroom! Because it has the word studio in it. It's so fucking annoying, man. So annoying. Location, location, location. No, not location, location, location. I was looking at fucking studio apartments, man. They're like... They're tiny. They're tiny. Which, granted, you do get, like, a kitchen. You do get a kitchen, and you do get a bathroom and stuff. But it's, like, $1,500. There's no work or anything nearby. You're gonna have to go to the city. There's nothing. You're not allowed to have anything. It's just location. It's not a nice area. It's a dying area. I guess, I guess it's doing better now. I don't know. Remember our Burger King used to close down because there weren't enough employees? Which I didn't understand because when I applied, they wouldn't hire me. So it's like, what do you mean you don't have enough employees to stay open? Hire me. I'll work for you. But I guess they just didn't make enough money to pay employees? I don't know. Rick Sickling gonna pick the B. Why didn't they hire you? I don't know. I don't know. I think they just literally got so little business. I don't know. I don't know. And then looking at other apartments, it wasn't much cheaper. It wasn't much cheaper in that area. And it just bugs me, because it's like out in the middle of nowhere. And it's like... You're not getting a job out there that pays more than like... Nine dollars. Right? You're not... You're not getting... Like a nice job out there. There's nothing. There's nothing out there. How the fuck are you supposed to afford? Fucking $1,400 rent. $9 an hour. This is this 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 before, this before all your bills, before everything. Fuck you. Since then, Ingrid, $20. I'm glad you made the choices that led you to hang out with losers instead of pursuing a normal life. I'm glad I'm where I am. Now I don't think you guys are losers. Live in the woods? This was basically in the woods, man. I just... 10 years experience needed... Uh... To work at the struggling Burger King. Lol, well, there is no labor shortage. The management is just too picky. It really is. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, man. Living in a van down by the river? I was considering it. You're not even gonna be baby. I don't think you're a loser either. Well, thank you. The point is pricing people out. They don't want the poor to be able to afford rent. Who's even fucking living there then, man? I don't know. I feel like the only... The only I, I don't know. Maybe that's the end game. Maybe that's the end game. Is they price everybody out. And then the poor people end up having to move out. And then they can sell the land or something. I don't know. I don't know. No one of those buildings are empty? There are a lot of them. There are a lot of them that are fucking empty. And then I see them. I see the entire building up for sale. And I'm like, who's fucking buying this? about getting a first floor waterfront apartment. Yeah, Mark, Mark, remember... Make more money 
turning it into an Airbnb than actually renting it out to resident. No, that fucking Airbnb shit absolutely destroyed some of the towns I used to live in. Airbnb has been a fucking plague I have witnessed firsthand. People are like, oh, well, you know, it just makes sense that you can't fault people. It's like, no. Especially when you live in bullshit areas where they have regulations on how many houses are allowed to exist and shit. Airbnb is a fucking death sentence. Leslo Phillips and Gumby BB. Hi, Peppa. Hello. There is a reason why it's cheaper than Airbnb the other is place. good, what you're talking about? It is not. It is not good. It is not good. Build hey, local economies. When you think the worst I once saw a mobile home going for a hundred thousand dollars on Zillow. Yep. Has already happened. Don't be so sure because only seconds after this guy walks That is piss water. Through ankle deep floodwaters in his family's basement, the entire wall caves ah! in with water. What the fuck? Oh my god, all of this shit is ruined. What an absolute nightmare. Oh Thankfully, though, my the god. The was okay and no one was oh, injured. Oh man, that was an open tub. Looks like Mother Nature thought this tree needed a little extra watering today. He's still alive. He's still alive. Basement is not good for floods. Which of these clips was man. Man. Weather is so fucked up. Weather is so fucked up. Do you guys want to watch news anchors? Bloopers. Next on News Be Funny, ah! Mama goes to a wedding. Goat gets a ponytail. Ah. Parents race. This All feels this old. And more. <laughs> Starting now. It's Monday morning in Colorado Springs, and it's not a good start to the day for anchor Matt. This Sanchez. feels old. <laughs> hello, hello. Somebody hello. brought up America's Funniest Home Videos before. This is what this feels like. Good morning. I'm Kasha Carriage. <laughs> I'm Matt Kroeschel. Is that a blooper? I feel like this happens on stream all the time. This happens, this happens on stream all the time. Oh, we're live? Oh, we're live. Hello! It's definitely Monday, July 24th. We got this, guys. It's Every local newscast week. feels trapped in 2008. True, BB? True? Everyone in McKinney is dead. The temperature... Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Check out the number five noise. We're gonna watch news anchors. You gotta watch and they RITP. The uh, the heat index right now oh, in McKinney but... is ten thousand. <laughs> what is that? One hundred and one thousand one hundred. He said it with such confidence. He did. <laughs> Meanwhile, elsewhere, it was another morning altogether at WDRB in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh. Jacqueline Gwyn Any any Kentuckians? Gwen Billaroel. Gwen Billaroel. Gwen Billaroel. Gwen Billaroel is Chief Jacqueline Gwen Billaroel. Gwen Billaroel. Jacqueline Gwen Billaroel. Gwen Billaroel would Gwen Billaroel. Genshin Impact when you have English voices on. Uh, but we're, we're going to bring in our expert right now. He he is Kendall, an expert. Kendall, you're the living in California to change California. I'm glad for Pippa. B. What? Are you a politician? Certain. Not a plus. Thank you for the $2. Uh, have you watched the succulent chant? What? What? I just do the weather. Pronounce what? What is the it? chief's last name. Chief I'm Jacqueline, Jacqueline Gwen. Exactly. I'm a little bit concerned, as I mentioned, about hail being as large as maybe ping pong because I saw it. Ping pong ball ball. <laughs> that is a tongue twister. <laughs> Let me try that again. We need more whiskey to pronounce that. Ping pong ball size and diameter. That's big enough to do damage. What? I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez, and these are your letters. These are not good bloopers. When they just when it's tongue twisters and stuff, they're not good bloopers. Somewhere Nobody cares. out in an empty field in Melbourne, news correspondent Shima Khalil had an important update of her own. Well, they've been saying that the Commonwealth Games are going to be all cost and no benefit for Victoria. And this is what the state premier has basically said. Is the reason they are no longer hosting the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, it happens. Potato rated thing for those people. I'm dumb after unknowingly accurately arguing Aristotle and Yudimbosum and objectivism for half an hour. Funky with a typewriter. 
Yeah, building ten dollars. I almost left my apartment to become a biker hobo because my new lease was going to be too high. They just negotiated a new price with me because I assume they lost too many tenants over the new price. Man. Games in 2026 Australians aren't real, they're not. The contract, they're so not. The games were supposed to be budgeted at around 1.5. Play the meal. No, times. I don't trust if you! It, as it stands, this budget has tripled. The human mask slip. No longer essentially covered. Yeah, apologies for technical problems. Though. This is a developing story. We'll have more <laughs> just on that. Cuts her off. In the morning on breakfast. Don't even tell her. You could just tell her. The maatregelings goed zullen werken. Also, also, also. Turn it off. Just turn it off. Just turn it off. He's dumb. Turn it off. Yo, fixing me something for boys. It's true, we're not real. You're not. Commercial. There is time at last for anchor Logan Byrne to explore a potentially new story for the evening news. Think the the Germans were good for technology. The run at the Emerald Downs racetrack in Washington State. <laughs> Hold your horses. This this gets funny. This is Logan's favorite story oh of the day. Take goodness. a look. <laughs> <laughs> they make it sound so sweet. A spill. Okay, the one of the gray hair on the right down, and now watch blue shirt. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What? What I the hope fuck? they're okay. <laughs> they These were. people probably haven't run you know, what, in a what, long what, time. What? What? what, what? I mean, uh, oh, they're Dutch? <laughs> cringe. <laughs> Southerly abuse. Oh. They're okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like when people <laughs> when people let their <laughs> children do dumb shit. He is determined. He's like, I'm gonna it win this. It all comes full circle, oh, Jack. Just caught it. <laughs> It's not that funny though. It's not that it's not that funny. <laughs> how, how about we just kind of both hang out here? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I wanna show you guys. I guess I guess not everybody has seen this, but it's my favorite news clip. I wanna show you guys. Hold on. Hold on. Um I showed it to Kirsha. I showed it to Kirsha. Hold on. Um. Um. Show that this is a threat to our democracy. No! I'm gonna show you. Here you go. Here you go. The best way to experience this movie would be if you have to watch it. Turn it so they're talking about a movie, right? They're talking about, they're doing like a movie review or some shit. What the flick? Get it? Because it's a flick? Like Netflix? Like, it's like, a, like a movie flick? The best way to experience this movie would be if you have to watch it, turn it on TV at home when it comes down to DVD and turn the sound completely off. <laughs> and then as you're cleaning the house or you've got a party going on, you that's, need the kids um, to stay occupied. That'll make this a lot more That's how I had to watch uh, incest porn. What? Yeah, turn the sound down. <laughs> then it's just porn. I'm so confused. Okay. Or if you're on an airplane and you need to occupy your kid, let them watch it on an iPad or whatever, or on the little screen in front of you, and then they can watch it. You don't have to listen to it. Oh, I love that we're talking about the kids' movie, and you bring up right. incest porn. I'm, I'm so just confused. saying everybody, every guy gets that moment when a friend hands them the box of old porn, right? And this what? is the only good thing the Young Turks has ever done for society. It almost makes up for Hassan's existence. One of the tapes was incest porn. Or it's like Did that ever happen to you? No, it doesn't. Uh, but almost. Just to, clear, you just to be clear, these were all grown ups. It was like the 22 year old daughter, right? It was a, but then you're like, oh, Jesus, it's her dad. And then I'm like, well, I'll just mute it. Happen to you? Okay. No, no, just to be clear, you just to be clear, it was well grown ups. It was like the Benedict 22 year old daughter, right? It was a, <laughs> but then you're like, oh, Jesus, it's her dad. And then I'm like, well, I'll just mute it. <laughs> oh, good shit. Good shit. All right, we're at the end of the street. <laughs> CIA couldn't get that out of me. You didn't need much. Chocolate, I think it was like the bees. He just kept digging that grave. He just kept digging that grave. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. A uh, great Dark Angel thing in the list. Are you familiar with Police Academy and Michael Winslow? Also, nothing makes up for Hassan's existence. Yes. Oh. Uh, 
Certain buck thing for Lawrence, Norm McDonald would have delivered that that way better. <laughs> and chose his words poorly. I think it's the, the delivery. I think part of it is the delivery, right? Because it sounded more like a creepy, like a, like, like a, like a creepy co-worker saying it rather than like... Just a friend that said something dumb. Or like a, like a distasteful joke or whatever. That's what those angry Dolores still waiting for Sam Hyde versus Hassan fight. Like, it felt like a confession. Right there, it goes like, Dolores, good god, the secondhand embarrassment is declared to my psyche. I have a cheap giga cringing. The HR meme is real, it is. <laughs> felt like he meant it and then tried to cover? Yeah. I'm for creating like, for the dollars. The funniest news segment I ever saw was about an Asian airline that crashed. Oh my god. The troll names. I remember. I remember when that was a thing. Another list for the pile. How long is it? How long is the list? I remember, um... What was I gonna say? There was a period... It's a long... Oh dear. Okay, yeah. The list for another day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... There was a trend for a while of people calling in to troll local news and stuff, and they'd be like, "Oh, can you say happy birthday?" And then they'd it'd be like a it'd be like a YouTuber or a troll name or whatever. Yeah, good times, good times. Freudian slip, Freudian slip. Trolling, yeah. Good power robbery, Dolores. Another successful investment. <laughs> It's not my birthday. Many such cases. What? Remember Hugh Mo... What is your name, sir? My name is Hugh... Mungus. Are you sexually harassing me right now? This man just pointed at himself and said he's humongous. What the fuck? I know. Humongous what? <laughs> I'm humongous. Why? Humongous what? You just pointed at your body parts, sir! That one's a classic. That one's a classic. Whatever happened to him and her? I don't know what happened to her, but he got into, like, a car accident. And it, like, demolished his work truck. And... People did, like, a fundraiser... To... Fix his truck. And the community kind of, like, pulled together a bit and stuff. And... I think he just kind of lived a normal life after that. I don't know what happened to her. Yeah, a bunch of charities helped them. Yeah. Yeah. Back when H3 wasn't awful. Yeah, back when H3, H3 wasn't fucking horrible. You know, those fuckers still pop up in my, in my, in my recommendations. Like, I'll, I'll just have them autoplay. I, I don't know what is up with YouTube. But no matter how many times I click do not recommend with shit. It's like I get spammed with H3, H3. Hassan and D'Angelo Wallace. I don't watch any of these people. I don't watch any of them. But no matter how many times I click do not recommend or I did not like this video on their shit, it just keeps popping back up. I don't like any of these fuckers. Uncle Bingo, Tango Bingo, thank you, Dolores. Oh, the classic. A man has been ID'd as the shooter. <laughs> I had a doodle table, doodle doodle, thank you, Dolores. Wish I could run into Humongous and said I found Vash in the wild. You found Vash, Vash in the wild? What the fuck? I keep getting advice bits from one channel non-stop. It's super annoying. Eee. Eee. Not a bug, it's a feature. You have to not interact at all, but they auto-play! Guardian Dark Angel thing with the last super before work. You should watch Scott Sterling play soccer if you have not seen it. I have not seen it. Eee. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pick somebody to raid. Be careful, Peppa. Turn off auto-play? I can't. I don't think I can, anyways. I don't think I can. The <laughs> autoplay turned on. Because I put it- I put it on the Roku. I put YouTube up on the Roku. And it just- it just goes. Roku forced. How do I turn it off? I just saw something from Fabulous Pippies! I guess it's in the settings somewhere. I don't know, man. I don't know. Good night, Pippa. See you at Jong. No Jong tonight. I'm tired. I'm tired. Did so much cleaning. There are lots of cleaning. Um... Uh, trying to decide who to raid. Boop, 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 boop,
Let's raid Olga. Absolute God gamer, please Celeste. Alright, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will see you tomorrow. Oh! Also, for the whole five people that remember. Remember how I said I lost my favorite, um, this thing, fidget toy? Eh, you hear it? I have like all these little animal fidget toys. And I mentioned I lost my favorite one. But while I was cleaning, I found it. My chameleon. My chameleon squirkies. Didn't you break it? Not my chameleon, no. I broke the turtle. The turtle's not my favorite, Chad. I know where the turtle is. The turtle's not my favorite. My favorite is a chameleon. Get your facts straight. Okay, anyways. Oh, it's a cringe! Oh, it's a cringe! Have a good night! Goodbye! Be nice to Erica! Remember to subscribe!